size you use for your headphones what size yeah like what you put the numbers on i don't put the numbers on. i leave them on whatever they on for real I just let more yeah oh you put them to the back though i mean i could do it either way i got a big head so i gotta go three and three shit i got a big ass head yeah where i wore a fucking seven and a half fitted that's yeah that's bad <laughs> i remember this kid i used to know where um a seven and seven eighths oh my, i didn't even know they fucking made wait those. what yeah. I thought seven and a half. I thought the one I had was the biggest size. Nope, seven and seven eighths. What the fuck? And they got eights. You you lying now? I swear. That's a fucking helmet. I'm about to look. He said a helmet. <laughs> I'm about to look it up. Wait, is we rolling? Yeah, we good. We oh active. shit. Oh, we active. Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? We need intro ourselves. I'm leaving all that sh- shit in the beginning too. Yeah, no, nah, I want to talk about these hats real quick. Oh yeah, let's go in. Biggest size? What was it? New Era? Or yeah, Lids? New Era. Biggest size. Size eight, yo. New era. Hat. Can't nobody fit no size eight, dog. That's crazy shit. I know someone with a seven and seven eight. That's an elephant head. Let me see. That's fucking crazy. A fucking eight. Do they got eight? They got eight and a quarters. They got eight and a quarter? The fifty nine fifties go up to eight and a quarter. What the fuck? It's a 65.4 centimeter around head. Yo. You got a fucking wig. Hell yeah. <laughs> Out here fucking walking around like a wig. Yo. Yo. Dog, when I was in elementary, he was some white boy with a big ass head like that. And he used to walk like this. He used to be like, had to like hold his shit. That's how For big real? his head were real red. Like his shit was big. Like you remember, what's that um, sh- that movie? Like Mega Mind. Like just the top of his head was big as shit. He used to be holding that. He used to be walking down the hallway like this. It's like, damn, nigga. I know this kid, Leo, and he had to take his head. His head was so big he couldn't fit a football a football helmet, so what? they had to take two separate helmets and glue them together somehow. <laughs> and I swear to God, and <laughs> they had to fuse helmets. Yeah, they, they fused like three helmets together and made one. Hell yeah, hey, so, yo! No, I just made that up. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> That'll make no fucking sense. Can you imagine gluing together a helmet? <laughs> that shit go fall right apart. Sound good though. It did. And then you just hollow out the middle of them, and then you just got <laughs> right. and just spray paint it. If your head too big for a helmet, you gotta play football without a helmet. You gotta just rock out. You gonna fuck people Thanks. up anyway. You just gotta wear the eight and a quarter new era <laughs> right. fifty nine fifty out there with your team logo yeah. on that bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, that eight and a quarter. Shout out to all y'all, all my eight and a quarter diggers. You feel me? Facts. DM us if you wear that eight and a quarter fitted. Yeah, pull up. Hit up do ragged the deer tag. And we gonna choose. Y'all gotta have a head button contest. Whoever win, you gonna be a guest on Do Rag and the Deer Tag. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? I would actually pay some some decent prize money to what? to throw a head button contest. Hell yeah, yo, we probably we might be the first people that even ever thought of that, bro. Yeah, a head button contest. Don't, ain't nobody doing no shit like that. How many entries do you think we can get? A fucking lot. People <laughs> stupid. People dumb as shit. These motherfuckers morons. They be out here fucking. Dude, <laughs> right into each other. Those the videos when you see them fucking the mountain goats, the mm. rams that just run at each other and bow. Dog, head butt. That's the craziest shit I ever seen. Dog, you know like, how much heart that takes yeah. to do some shit like that, bro. That shit would go straight through your chest. <laughs> like if one of them head butt you in your stomach, it's a dub. <laughs> Hell You're yeah, dying. yeah, you, it's over. Yo, it's a, that's a done deal. Those videos are fucking insane. But yeah, I bet we could get. Yeah, anybody that watches this podcast, shout out to y'all, first of all. Hell yeah, shout Second out. Second of all, we throwing a, a headbutting contest. We are. I throw 50 on it for the grand prize. I throw 75 on it. I throw 75 on it too then. So Fuck that's it. 150. Yeah. That's one, it's a 150 grand prize. Doing this headbutting contest. All right, look, this is how we going to do it. 150 grand prize. Second place, you get $25. Okay, you know man. That. And that's from me personally. Do- <laughs> so wait, yeah. do, are we setting up? Are we recruiting people for this, or you just got open signups? This open signups. And is it open weight classes? No weight classes. Ooh. I don't think you could do weight classes. Nah, no. you can't. Yeah. You, we might got to do head sizes. We might got to see what size fitted they wear. Because if it's yeah. a small head, boy, he can't go up against fucking eight and a quarter. Yeah, but like, like Dorian's probably not going to enter this contest. You feel me? <laughs> Dorian would get crushed in this fucking but like, joint. But Adam Benjamin, heavy oh. favorite early. No. Early. Yeah, you know who, who will Tom win? Tom Cox. Early Le favorite. Lemare. Lemare is taking out <laughs> everybody. Dude, 
going fuck out of here. <laughs> Pow! I need two heads at one time. Lemire going crazy on people. Yo. He destroying people with, with that fucking jaw. <laughs> I would enter, but I'm a host, because I would pr- do pretty well, too. I got a big ass head. Yeah, nah, and I'm just scared to headbutt people, so. Me too, I'm scared of shit. If, uh-huh. Yo, if that's how people had to fight, I'd be the biggest bitch ever. Facts. Like, if, we, if, if humans never learn to throw fists, and fucking rumble and shit like that. What? I'm not headbutting nobody. If that's how everybody fought, that's how butt. that's how goats fight or rams. Right. So imagine people fought like that. You just ran into the boom, <laughs> wow. and you're like, "All right, what's up? <laughs> boom, do it again." <laughs> what? I wouldn't fight nobody. Man, people would be knocked out within fucking the oh, first joint. Yeah. Both of them. Hell Especially yeah. the way that the the I keep calling them goats. Rams is running at each other. Right. Nah. And they be bucking like. They running and, and they put a, they put some extra spice on it at the end. They don't just run into each other. They fucking boom. That's just crazy. Yeah. No, I can't hang with no fucking mountain rams. You seen them? You seen them fucking eagles that be grabbing them and fucking dragging them off the cliff? Hell Yo, yeah. Yo, I saw a video today of a falcon chasing down a fucking um like a big ass like a New Orleans pelican, John. What? And he fucking um he he was little as shit compared to yo yeah and he, while they was flying grabbed the back of his neck or grabbed like his beak and yanked this shit back and buddy just broke his neck in the air and oh, just fell oh shit I was like yo that shit was crazy yo that's some fucking psycho shit yeah. so the joint was flying and he grabbed his beak and to snap yeah what yeah. shout out to nature is metal <laughs> yo hell yeah that's my shit nature is metal yeah that shit was wild that shit made my life way more gruesome I love that fucking page everybody go follow nature is metal so you can realize how real life is and that you out here fragile as shit thinking you safe facts I be showing my dad and mom shit like that like whenever I'm home hell I'll be like yeah. yo you see this video of the fucking the tarantula eating the ba- the bird <laughs> hell yeah no <laughs> I ain't see that shit. Right. Like, what you the fuck see are you fucking into? fucking gorilla throw a raccoon across the football field? <laughs> right. Like, nah, I'm good. It's a fucking. It was one. It was a crazy ass picture. It was like a fucking lion. And he just had like the zebra head. He ain't had nothing else. It was just the head. It's like, what the fuck? You was talking about it's the zebra that fucking. Yeah. Had half of his body hanging off. Had half his body. And he still was fucking. He still was in cheeks. Try to fucking procreate. You feel me? So get and your was, devotion up. And he was eating grass at the same eating time. Eating grass at the same time. Right. And he shit it. He shit it, was fucking, and was eating grass. All in one all in one motion, dog. That'd be so crazy if you could shit and fuck at the same time. <laughs> you probably could if your stomach hurt bad enough. I mean, I'm sure you. Mm. My, see, my thing is, if I'm firmed out and then my stomach hurt, that shit go whoop. That shit go right. <laughs> yeah. If I get the bubble guts in the middle of sex, it's over. I'm sitting yeah. on the toilet. I gotta go. I gotta go now. I was fucking this joint like three, three, four weeks ago, whatever. And um, like right after we got done, like my shit just started going crazy. But I didn't have to shit. I knew I had to throw up. Oh, but I didn't shit. drink or nothing. You just had to hurl. You probably yeah. ate something fucked up. I think I did. Yeah, you probably and, ate something um, crazy. I just looked at. I was trying to hold it in. I was like, Nah, let me stand up, walk around real quick. Like <laughs> maybe I gotta walk it off. Hell yeah. She's like, What's wrong with you? I'm like. I gotta throw up. <laughs> you. I couldn't even play it off to uh, that I was going to take a piss either. Cause yeah. I just took a piss right after. Um, and she might have heard you in there if you started yeah. throwing up. So I'm like, nah. You can't hide. Yeah, nah, fuck that. It's whatever. And see, that, that's not embarrassing. If I got throw up, I can oh, tell nah, you. I came, I came right back, laid down, and got it in again. Yeah, like an hour that's later. That's cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, taking the shit, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Because look, because think about it like this. What if one, if she don't got no wet wipes in there, then you just fucking dry wiping. And if you dry wiping, then you hop right back in the cheeks, your ass out, your ass might be swimming. You feel yeah. me? You, you just got finished. You just got finished deucing. Now you in, now you in here with your, cheek, with your cheeks out because you hit you in her cheeks. But you know what's great? Like, I used to. Damn. I said I'd never talk about shit in a <laughs> podcast. Cause every time the first, the only time I did it, you start making shit noises over every time I say. Hell yeah! What so you you don't hear the shit noises right now? No, nope. it's already yeah, there. Matter of fact, yeah, we know. <laughs> we out of here. <laughs> Cause I had something to say, but come on, Drew. Nah, you gotta share. Nah, that's March, what it's about. March fourteenth. <laughs> Great room. Hell yeah! What shit gonna be lit? I'm saying everything that I never wanted to say at that first show. Hell yeah! I'm going but, in. Yeah. Oh yeah, listen, in case y'all don't know what Drew talk about, March 14th, 
You see this, what we doing right here, right now? This is going to be in the great room. In the living room of the great room upstairs. Yeah. That's where we're going to be at. It's a bar slash living room, and then y'all can come enjoy this with us. Mm-hmm. Can be a part of the experience. You see what I'm saying? We're doing live shows. Yep. It's going to be a mic after the show. I think we're yeah. going, what do we got, 8 to 10? Yeah, I say 8 to 10. We eight got to 8 ten to comedians. 10, but yeah, well, nah, we got 8 to 10. Oh, for we the got time eight, spot. Yeah, we got 8 to 10. But I think it's going we can go later than that. They don't yeah, cuz they don't, they don't yeah, I, matter of fact, yeah. I talked to uh Silas earlier. It ain't Yeah. It's 8 for real for real. 8 yeah. too. <laughs> like exactly. you see what I'm saying like so. so yeah, we doing the mic afterwards. Hell um, yeah. That's how we are going to get people to come the out. The afterwards come we we party. Yeah. So party with us at the You see what I'm saying And there's no mics on Saturdays so No they mics gotta, on Saturdays They gotta rock with us So yeah. if you a shitty ass comedian That don't get no shows And shit like that Come fuck with us You ain't doing nothing better Yeah Fuck you doing You you out here supporting your, your your comedian friends That's better than you Facts Going to their shows on Saturdays Fuck that You come we right to the mic bulls, man. Yeah right regular, <laughs> Hell yeah <laughs> Hell yeah Come to our shit Damn so yeah, we got somebody else coming on the podcast today too. Oh um, yeah, hell yeah! I didn't even want to introduce myself until. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. No, look, Leah. Let's say the intro. Let's say yeah. it. Cause listen, we 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 uh we innovative. You got the intro for today for for Mystery Ball. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got some shit. Yeah, yeah I got I some shit. I can pull did. out the tuck. Hell I figured yeah. you did. Yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, we ain't gonna tell you. Who it is or none of mystery that shit? Bull. Your mystery. You see what I'm saying? But we we this is how innovative we are. We doing our intros fucking mid podcast. You, you feel, feel me? me? All y'all out here fucking doing y'all shit in the beginning, like everybody else. Fuck that. Ghost Recon Seven in this motherfucker. Hell yeah! What? They don't even know who I am. Right? Y'all don't know what side we coming from. I fucking pop up in your mom bedroom. You don't know what's going on. You feel me? You 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 come downstairs. You at your mom house, you come downstairs, you see me in the kitchen, just cooking something up. Yeah, man, and I'm not your pop neither. I'll shoot you. <laughs> I'll shoot the shit out you. If you if you came in your mom crib and I was in the kitchen butt naked oh, fucking yeah. making some eggs and uh, shit. Absolutely. <laughs> you put you gonna pop me? Absolutely. <laughs> the fuck out of my house. Uh, <laughs> Ain't no reason for that. Yo, that's real shit though. Drew Wright. Yeah. I tell you, look, I tell you this right now. My mom's single. And she's single because of me. I don't got no step pop because I used to lie about every nigga she bought around. What? Mr. Johnny yelled at me. <laughs> Mr. Jim was looking mean at me. He doesn't like me. <laughs> I used to make all that shit. That shit all lies. You feel me? Ain't nobody fucking my mom. Said, Mr. Tyrone touched my pee pee on yep. the way to school. Damn right. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Hell yeah. You can't date my mom. Who do you think you are? With me. That's wild. I'm loyal to the T. Like, my pop wasn't even around like that. And I still held him down. You feel me? <laughs> back, was backing niggas up. That's how you gotta do. Shout out to OG. Yeah, shout out to OG boy. Nah, but on some serious shit, I if I seen somebody in my crib at fucking any time of the night, that's not me. I mean, I live by myself, so like. Yeah, of course. But shoot I, his ass. Yeah. And then ask questions afterwards. Exactly. Like, oh shoot, I ain't know it was you, Shotty. Bro. <laughs> it, yeah, Shotty gotta go. <laughs> I be telling Shotty sometimes, like, yo, Shotty's my downstairs neighbor. Yeah. I be telling him sometimes, like, yo, it's a mouse in the living room. You should go chill in the kitchen for a little bit or something. Like, <laughs> in case I start letting him fly in here. Hell yeah. But what? once I do, like, when the lights is out and, like, I'm walking, like, it's midnight and I got to take a piss or something. There's no lights in the crib. Yeah. And fucking, I'm walking downstairs. I do be going around corners like I'm fucking... Scooby Doo with the thirty on Oh me. hell yeah, you got to. Hell yeah. But yeah, I be slow peeking around corners and everything. Hell yeah. I, listen, I be paranoid. Exactly. As fuck. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, that's what I was. I'm paranoid. For. Yo, listen, if I'm riding through certain neighborhoods, my gun on my lap, mm-hmm. just sitting there. It's just and he dead. not even allowed to have it. Yeah, I'm not allowed <laughs> to have it. I'm I'm taking chances with my freedom, just riding around, gun in my lap, because I'm in the wrong neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Now if I'm nah, somewhere, you should. To see, the problem is, though, a lot of y'all boys be out here strapped 24-7, and y'all ain't even supposed to have it. Now, that's stupid. You out here up, up fucking Chestnut Hill or in Shelterham with your gun on you. What the fuck is you doing? You might need it, though. You ain't going to need it there? You don't need it there. Bro, that's where the, that's where them crazy motherfuckers go to the white, schools and yeah, start right. shooting shit. Yeah, come into a Walmart. You right. They got fired the day before. That's their true. girl left them. They fucking Comcast bills was late, so they got canceled on that. They can't watch no... <laughs> Nothing on the internet. They don't got no do rag and the deer tag <laughs> subscription. 
the car out of gas. The electricity <laughs> is still on, but it's short wiring sometimes. Uh, hell the lights yeah. is flickering. They're going to go kill people in the Walmart. That's true. You right. So, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you got to be cautious in white neighborhoods too then. Yeah. Because they might get it fucking popping. You feel me? See, like, look, and this, this is what people don't realize. The white boys that's like Drew is cool as shit. It's the ones that's fucking long hair that be in a basement all day playing video games that's fucked up. Look out for them boys. You see the fucking white boy with the fucking long ass hair. He out here fucking sloppy as shit. Baggy ass jeans on. Yeah. He got on fucking monarchs and shit like that. Worry about him. He got a wallet chain and shit. Yeah, right. He got a wallet chain. Listen, he got more chains on his pants, all these zippers and shit. Hell yeah. Like, why you got seven zippers? <laughs> Right on the right side of your anybody pants. that dressed like fucking Big J Okerson, look out. <laughs> you feel me? Because they might shoot your shit up. You see what I'm saying they the ones that's dangerous. They out here sparking shit. Nah, I I worked in a school for a little bit, and um, it was this one young boy that that looked the part. But yeah. all all the kids that was cool would make fun of him. They they would like literally tell him like, some, "Oh, you a school shooter? You look like you going." I forget what his name was. I wouldn't even say it if I did. Were they trying to make him do it? What the fuck are they Bro, doing? Bro, that's what I would tell him. I'm like, yo, y'all need to shut the fuck up because I'm still getting paid until June in here. So, and getting paid well. So, right. I'm getting paid very well. Oh, you couldn't bring your strapper to the school, could you? Nah. Yeah. I didn't even have one at the time. Right. Nah. Even if you did, they, well, you can't yeah. bring that shit to yeah, the exactly. school. Damn. So, I mean, teachers can't even do that. So, right. teachers, definitely not. Fuck no. But, yeah. I used to be scared as shit. I'm like, he going to pull the, the fucking Uzi out the backpack right. one day. Right, any given day. Yeah. Any given day, he's sparking up. Mm-hmm. Fuck. See, that's why I look. And, Drew, you know, you see me in action. I'm cool with everybody. Yeah, same. Because I don't, my thing, yeah, Drew the same way. I Like, I'm not going to fucking downplay nobody. I don't give a fuck who you is. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I look at people like Swiggy and Chance that, like, look like they could shoot some shit up. And I make friends with them. Hell yeah. Like, Right. Chance looked like he could kill a lot of people if he Chance, had to. Chance, hell yeah, sure. he could. Hell yeah. yeah. Yo, we was out. We had went and got wings yesterday at the uh, great room. Why, yeah. Oh, let me come at Drew real quick, y'all. Y'all about to be privy to a fucking personal conversation. Where the fuck did you go yesterday? Why'd Bro, you leave? I was fucked up. Everybody was fucked up. We we all went and got wings and shit like that afterwards. And you fucking dipped off. I'm like, where the fuck is Drew? What did I, I forgot mean? you even said bye. Chance was like, he said he said he was going home. I said bye like three times. You did? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm like, what the fuck happened I, to Drew? Where did I go? I think oh, I went to Wawa. Chance bagged the hottie too. Did he? But he almost fucked it up, but then he then he redeemed himself. In great? No, no. He bagged the afterwards when we got wings. She was in great. And you know the crazy thing? She was funny. I told her she should get on stage. She was there just to watch the show. But she was funny as shit. I was like, yo. Did you, I see her? You probably did. She was a blonde hair joint with like some type lacy type fucking strap shit on. She was nice. Nice. I don't even remember. Shout out to Chance. Chance, you bagged a good one. She was nice. But yeah, so we go to the joint. Let me tell you how crazy Chance is though. So I was going to treat everybody. I'm like, you know what? Let me just look out. I'm you told me this. that out of stage. <laughs> For sure. Right. Because I went to Wawa. I wasn't trying to spend no more money. That's what it was. No, look, see, look, Wawa, why you do that? I got a donut and a bagel for like but you $3. Should, see, no, look, Drew didn't peep the bag I was in. You should have peeped the bag I was in from the rip. I was like, I was out there buying Josh whatever he wanted. You ain't buy me nothing. That's, Josh just got you didn't out say, of jail. So? You didn't say nothing. You already had a drink the first time when I first saw you. True. And after that, you didn't say, normally if I want something, I'd be like, yo, Drew, you can get me a joint. Or you'd be like, yo, nah, you yeah. grab me a joint. You ain't say shit. You just yeah. like, oh yeah, I'm drinking this. I'm like, all right, cool. Bro, I was fucked up yesterday. You was <laughs> fucked up. But we all, everybody was yeah. fucked up, yo. Everybody was fucked up. So look, we went and got wings. So let me tell you how your bad ch- yo, chance for this shit. So we said to Joe, we got for this drinking, eating this, this and that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna pay for everything. So he's like, all right, cool. So chance get up, he go to the bathroom and shit. So I'm like, all right. So we sitting there chilling. He come back, he like, Yeah, I pay for everything. So I'm like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, what you, you doing? Money. Yeah, right. Like, what you you, I said, dog, I was going to do. I'm like, I was going to pay for everything. He like, he like, nah. He like, dude, I'm fucking rich. Don't worry about it. I know. <laughs> I'm I know. like, 
yeah. Bro, anybody oh. to do his type of job, I'm not even gonna expose him like Yeah, that. we ain't gonna Ch- say all that. Chance get money, dog. Chance get money. If y'all if y'all need a lick, and he younger run, than he younger than me and Drew. Run down on chance. <laughs> Tell him run them fucking pockets, yo. Hell yeah. That no, motherfucker. Cause then I gotta jump in and then Yeah, I real rap. Don't in. fuck with chance. Yeah, that's my guy. If you fuck with chance, I'm gonna fuck with you. So chill out. That's my guy. But, but look, so then the joint. She's sitting there, bad as shit, right? Well, not bad as shit, just nice. So then he like, so she, the joint was talking to Swiggy and my sister. So I guess Chance thought that her attention wasn't Swiggy like. Swiggy was there? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yes, yeah, Swiggy was there, dog. I fuck with Swiggy. That's my fucking man. <laughs> you feel he like, he crazy as shit, but that's my guy, nah, dog. Nah, he cool. He, he cool. wild boy, though. He wild, but he cool. Yeah, I fuck with Swiggy. I fuck with Swiggy. His last name's Swig. Pearl Swigs. Pearl Swigs. That's what it is. Yeah, he told me. I'm like, wait, what? He Jewish. I ain't even know that. Fucking Jew. (laughs) Fucking Jew. (laughs) I like him, though. The good kind. Hell yeah, he is the good kind. He don't give a fuck about money. You feel me? He not that kind of Jew. He the other kind. He the kind where that's like, you can tell his lineage ain't grow up the way that most of the Jews grew up. He was a gypsy. That might be OD offensive. <laughs> I don't know y'all culture. I, you I don't either. Yo, I yeah. didn't know kike was a bad Jewish word the other Me day. Me neither. I didn't yeah. know that either. I heard it on, uh, somebody said it at a roast. And I was like, oh. You're like, the way the crowd reacted, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's a bad word. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. And the, yeah. I see, I didn't know that until recently either. That's like nigga yeah. to them. Yeah. It's, it's, look, y'all got to give us credit for being ignorant. We don't know a lot of shit. Fact, so some of the shit we going to say going to be, yeah, yeah, right, we learning. And y'all on this journey with us learning. So just, just be in it with us. But also look, so this is what, let me get back to the story. <laughs> Crazy ass Chance looks at me and he says, yo, I'm going to fuck this girl tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, and he literally does like this. He said, he's like, he's like, yo, I'm going to fuck this girl tonight. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? And then she looks, she's like, she's like, what? Right, and, and I'm oh, like, she heard him. Yeah, because she was talking to my sister and Swiggy, so he thought that she didn't hear that she wasn't gonna hear him. <laughs> but it's like, though, he was drunk as shit, so right. he said it loud as fuck. <laughs> and when he said, I was like, oh shit, he like, yo, I'm gonna fuck this girl. I'm like, oh, and she was like, what? And he was like, oh nah, nah, nothing. I'm like, dog, <laughs> she legit heard what you said, yo. Did he fuck? He left with her. Uh, he might have then. Yeah, he might have. That's what I'm saying. He probably did. He probably did. Damn. He left with her, so I don't put it past him. That's wild. Shout out to Chance. Chance is the man. Yeah. Chance needs to wear his fucking arms out more. Let let them fucking tat show. You feel I me? I didn't even know anything about that. Hell Chance, yeah. He added the fuck up. I seen that on his Instagram. Said, hold up. He sleeved out. Yeah. Chance, you know what he got to do? He got to get a fucking neck tat. Yeah. Get a fucking neck tat, Chance. Get out here. Let, yeah. people, let people know who you really but are. not like a neck Sleeve or like a collar. He need like nah, a, just something like a, small. A cursive word or something. Yeah, right. Something small. Like his mom name or like. No, that's gonna be too trashy. His mom's name. Yeah, you can't get you can't get cursive on your neck, bro. No, that's that's the goal though. That's what I want him to get. You want him to look trashy? Yeah. That's gonna ruin his image. Or, so, <laughs> he's fine. He's got money. <laughs> he tried Chance to tell you. Definitely got buddy. Buddy is rich. He said. He said, dude, I'm fucking rich. It's okay. I was like. <laughs> oh, all right, nigga, shit. Yeah, yeah, chance. Shout out to chance. Shout out to chance. Grape room was was popping last night. Grape was wild. Shout out to Josh being home. That was a hey, day. my man Josh Zayner, he here now. You yeah. feel me? Don't don't pull up the grape on no bullshit, cause Josh gonna fuck you up real quick. Yeah, and I'm not breaking up nothing. I think he gonna he might have to be our bouncer for when we get to live yeah. shows. Yeah, hell yeah, I I like that. I like that. Him or um, your man Rev. Shout out to Riv. Yeah, shout like out to Riv. Riv definitely, Riv would beat the shit out of most people. Yeah. Most people, listen, most people in the world, <laughs> Riv would clean them up easily. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we might have to do that, Josh uh-huh. and Riv. I'm going to buy people mad drinks at those shows, mad Long Island. Hell and get them yeah, fucked up get them so, fucked up. Yeah, just so Riv can put that shit. <laughs> That's the whole goal. I just to see watch fights. him fuck yeah. <laughs> I want to see fights in the audience. Hell yeah. Just to watch him go to work. Don't fight, actually. Yeah, no, don't fight. Fight outside or, like, fight in front of uh, JD, McGillicuddy's. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's how you do it. Don't fight outside a great room. Yeah. Don't bring that shit to our shit. You feel me? Like, if it's a problem, we walk you around the corner and you can fight there. Yeah. 
and you can get some fucking cheap ass wings for fifty cent. And we're gonna put your fight maybe on the podcast. If yes, we will put your fight on the podcast. Yeah. So hold on, cause we got forty minutes left in this joint. Special guest still not here yet. Yeah, the fuck is he at? It's cool. Yeah, text him see where he at. Um, we gonna get into the whatever we had to get into, and then he can just you mean intermediate. Yeah, right. He could just he could just slide in. Cause I really didn't have. I did have one thing that I really wanted to talk about. I'm gonna save it for when he get here. Um, but did you see the the All Star game? Yeah, hell yeah. Did you see the uh, the national anthem before the All Star? Yes, game? shit what's, was. What's fucked. going on with these, man? I don't had, know. They had Fergie the year before do some bullshit. Bullshit. She then, remixed that shit. Bro, Shaka Khan remixed that she, shit. Shaka Khan remixed it. My thing is. I didn't know that was a real person until. I honest, I thought Shaka Khan was somebody that was like, you know, the Shakas and the Zulus yeah. and the tribes. I thought that Hell was like yeah. the leader over there. Nah, that sounds like it though. Yo, it, it, it does. That's a good fucking educated fucking guess, bro. A- absolutely. Shaka Khan. Because Khan sound name. like King. It's like, all right. Where would I have heard a Shaka Khan song? Though? Right. No, you're right. Yeah. No, you're right. And especially after hearing that shit, I'm like, I would never, ever fuck. Well, see, all right, now. That shit was bad. She didn't sound like that before. You got to think, she like fucking 60-something now. She old as fuck. And my thing is, it's the All-Star game. Y'all couldn't get nobody else? Y'all dug Shaka Khan out her fucking grave and fucking put her in front of everybody to do that bullshit that was stupid. Let her fucking stay in her retirement home. You feel me? That shit was well over three minutes. It was the longest Hell fucking yeah. national anthem I ever seen in my life. Right. Like, why wouldn't they go get, uh, what's that girl name that's winning everything? What's the John name? They could have got fucking Bad Baby on there. They could have got Bad Baby. Yeah, they could have got. That would have been lit. They could have got Lizzo. They could have got fucking. Lizzo could have done it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they had plenty of people to pick from. And they picked Shaka Khan. Somebody ain't been popping since the 70s. Like she that's what I'm saying. Nobody like, I, know who that is. No. I, like, yeah. that's not my era. That's not your era. Yeah, that fuck around not even be my mom and them. You see what I'm saying? Like that's just that's a whole other. That's like the '60s or something. Like I don't even want to look up like no Shaka Khan songs and know when she was relevant. Yeah, right. But I know that shit gotta be old, man. That was a bad call from the A. That was horrible. And then they also had fucking uh, Dame Lillard do the halftime show. <sighs> or no, it wasn't the halftime show. That was uh, the dunk contest. <laughs> that was the dunk contest. Yes, and that shit stunk. Yeah, that shit was bad. Come on, Dame. Get your performance game that up. That shit was bad. The thing is, Dame can rap. He really can rap. Like, especially for a fucking basketball player, he can rap. But that shit just wasn't. He sounded like he was bored with his own he lyrics. He looked mad awkward out there. He looked yeah, crazy he, awkward. He did look like bored with his own he shit. He was bored. Like, yeah. He went, that that wasn't a performance. He, yeah, he's not a performer like that. He's not. Like, he's a performer on the court for sure. Yeah. You know what they should have did? It just looked bad. No, look, this this where Dame would have thrived. They should have took Dame, right, and put him back wherever the fuck he from. I don't know where Dame and Lillard from. Wherever Sacramento. He, all right, cool. So he's from They're Sacramento. Oakland. 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 He's from Oakland. They should have took Dame, put him back in Oakland, right, and then did like how the headshots videos used to be. Have him out there with all his diggers and just recording. He got music videos. Yeah, yeah, but his voice too fucking monotone. That's what I'm saying. You got put him, you got put him around his homies in the hood and record him there. It looked like if I was out there rapping, like real yeah. rap, because you got that monotone yeah. shit too. You said, definitely got that. Davis to the bank, I get money, money. <laughs> I'm like, that's a bar, but like it wasn't even. <laughs> that could have been high <laughs> if you really said this shit with some energy. Like, and wait, oh, uh, let me let's time out and do a sidebar. Time out and sidebar, and it's our guest. Y'all about to catch some behind the scenes action. Just put him on speakerphone through the through the jaw. You. Hey, what's up, man? It's uh, it's Sydney. I'm I'm out I'm out at the centric. All right, bet. Here I come. I'm about to come get you right now. All right, cool. All right. Now watch the magic of fucking podcast. Damn. Y'all, y'all nah, think it's a fact, break, but it ain't no break. Watch this. Watch, and I'm giving out our sponsors. Yeah, do the sponsors, Drew. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Red Bull. The Grape Room. I don't drink Red Bulls. Shout out to the Grape Room on Tuesdays. Shout out to Acadia Springwater. And I'm going to plug these shows real quick. We not pausing shit. Oh, yeah, plug it. Yeah, plug it. We not pausing shit. Facts. This this episode yeah, it's going to be long gone by then. <laughs> long gone. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, me and I got a show coming up at Go Vegan. It's Friday coming up. That's going to be dope. Ant more on there. 
Uh, we got fucking Dan Madden and Ryan Foster show. It's called. I just took a picture of the shit today. The tin can bar scumbags at the tin can. And rated an and R rated comedy show. Grammar on this is fucking terrible. It's cur- I'm embarrassed to call Ryan Foster my twin brother. Honestly, he's making us look bad in this picture. I thought Deer Tag Drew looked bad. Ryan's literally got smoke stains on his fucking face in here. I don't know what to say about it, but that's March 11th. Doors at 7:30. Show at eight. It's me, Ryan Foster, Dan Madden, Peggy O'Leary, Marcus Lavar, and John Del Colo. All murderers. All murderers on that, John. Literally murderers. First degree homiciders. Um, and then we also got, I'm hosting Grape Room March 10th. That's my birthday, 26. You mean, I'm in my LaShawn McCoy year. That's going to be a good time. Um, come out, party with us. We're going to be fucked up. And then the following, that Saturday, we at Grape Room live every Saturday. March 14th, they start. And then the 21st, and then the 28th, and then whatever's after that. Yeah, Grape going to be popping. Yeah, we doing live shows. Um, Yeah, we got a couple sponsors to announce coming up, but it's not it's not set in stone yet. We got to figure some stuff out. I need that check. You feel me? Not really. I ain't going to charge y'all shit. Damn, now I feel like I got to keep talking. I don't want to. I told y'all I would have high aspirations for this. I I hear other things going on in that other room, though. I don't like it. I think I got to shut this door. Now I'm just bullshitting. We stalling them out. Now I am going to be here soon, though. My man Sydney going to be here soon. Yeah, Sixers lost tonight. 106-94. Them boys' ass. I don't know, man. Sixers got to get that fucking, that four seed, dog. If we could catch the Celtics, that's pivotal, but that's not happening. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the Sixers. Give me Brad Bill, dog. What's it going to take? I'll fucking... I don't know. what I, I was going to say some crazy shit. Not no gay shit, but I'll do some. For I, whatever Brad Bill wants to come to Philly, I, I'll help him out. Get him some bitches, some money. This boy Naeem lost. It's fucking 30 minutes left in the podcast, though. That's cool. That camera not even recording no more. How do we do it? What other shows I got plugged? I don't even know. I appreciate y'all listening to this, though, man. I do want to get into... Oh, yeah, the Drew Montana Hour coming back soon, too. Duh. Psh, dummies. I guess I can just kill time. I'm going to probably say some crazy shit by myself because I'm irresponsible, but it's whatever. What did I... Oh, all right. Nah, that's not it. What if robots became police officers? I'm about to just ramble real quick. I think it'd be dope because cops wouldn't get shot. They bulletproof. So therefore they wouldn't have the need to shoot anybody. Because if they bulletproof, they could just walk you down and put you in an arm bar from any angle. I think maybe if they were solar powered and then the night cops could be lunar powered or something, you know? It's just a thought. I think technology is coming to a big, big improvements. It's crazy because I I think that someday they're going to see. I don't know what I think. Like, is this, is this all the simulation? Like, are we here? Are you here watching this shit? 
Or could somebody just unplug you at any time and you just mm, sleep? And then you wake up. And they're like, how was it? I don't know. I watch a lot of Joe Rogan. I listen to a lot of fucking alien conspiracy things. I'm literally just saying shit. Try, where the fuck is Naeem? God damn. Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. Shout out to Chicago. Good band. Heavy brass instruments. You still do yep. the sponsors? Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, I'm just making shit up now. I told him I would hold it down, so I've just been ranting this yeah, whole time. Yeah, Drew. I started talking about robots, brass instruments, oh, fucking. Yeah. My boy, oh, what's going on, bro? How you doing? Yes, sir. Hey, we love. We got our fucking guest back. Yes, sir. We got our guest. We here. got the secret guest that we ain't want to tell y'all about. Should, should we even introduce ourselves at this point? We've been going for like 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, no, y'all already know who yeah, we you are. Know if you, if you watching this, you know who we are. Yes, you know what I mean? But, we, but uh, sitting to Drew's left, we got the fucking jujitsu champion <laughs> of the Philly co comedy community. Matter of fact, let me take that back. We got the fucking athletic champion of the Philly comedy yeah. community. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, I'm the fastest. Oh. Now that's not yeah. true. I probably, <laughs> I probably got the highest vertical, all that shit. Yeah, look, he might got the vertical shit, but the fastest we ain't, that's debatable. And y'all gonna see that soon. Cause we gonna we gonna set that up. Yeah, and find out that it was never debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all down to race after this episode? Oh, uh, I don't think I can race after this episode. I just got done fighting a bunch of grown men. Oh yeah, he was doing jujitsu. Oh yeah. shit, I thought you meant like a helium. No, no, no. With nah. the helium last week we we uh Yo, why does my mechanical arm not? Is this why you were talking about robots? No. Nah. <laughs> oh, you should keep dipping yeah, down. Yeah, I got a droopy arm. Is that is that a disrespect? What's happening yeah. here? Nah, that shit. You try to get in my head about this race? Hell yeah! <laughs> I ain't get that shit by oh, every day. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> okay, that works. I found I found it. Um, I was at Helium last week, and okay. we miscommunicated. Yeah, he thought we was doing this last week. Okay, yeah. but we had to do it today. So today he was doing jujitsu, fucking choking people out and shit like that. That's yeah, what's up. three Hell people. Yeah. yeah, see, look, <laughs> he's got finished triangle. What belt you got? Blue. Blue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hell. I yeah. got my uh, my yellow belt, two stripes, and karate. Hell yeah. When I was a young boy, and then Hell I stopped yeah. going. Oh, we just I wish a bunch I stayed of martial with artists it. Yeah. at this time. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, not at all. Not me. <laughs> we got some fucking. No, he more a wrestler than a martial artist. Well, yeah, I mean, I that's still in high a. School, yeah. That's still a thing. Yeah, you can't even if you're not prepared. To use it in battle, you shouldn't even put it out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, nah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah strike that from the record. I ain't no, no type of... <laughs> but it's pictures of it. It's record. Right. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, no, hell yeah. It's pictures. And you know what's crazy? My cousin be posting it every year on my birthday. I'm proud as shit with this yellow belt. <laughs> the on. yellow belt. He's like, fuck out of here, Miyagi. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> like, chill. It was a long time ago. <laughs> my warrior days. Yeah, I'm back in this warrior days. <laughs> yeah, He's nah. a man of peace now. Right. I'm too, I'm too fucking old to fight. I'm not fighting nobody. It's over. That shit's over. You got to swing on me first. Sydney older than you. He would just beat the shit out of five people. He's training. I'll fight somebody <laughs> in training. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I spar, different. but I'm not going to be no, out I in the you. street fighting nobody. Oh, that's I crazy. Mean, I, I de-escalate till I die out in the street. Hell yeah. What? <laughs> I am not trying to fight. I mean, I had to one time. Yeah. Uh, in front of Raven, this is, uh, so it, it was funny because it was at this time when it was really important for everybody to declare that they were allies right. and shit. Yeah. So I was like, it was asked of me to declare that I was a male feminist, and I was like, nah. Yeah, fuck that. No, no you man. cannot do You I'm cannot. Not doing not. That. Yeah, yeah, it's no. not. I'm a good guy. Right. And, and I'd rather represent being a good guy. Right. That's all you right. need. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. Male feminist, that's some other shit. Hell yeah. You know, like, I'm not. And so, r real quick, so my whole reason was like, because I am a good guy, and, and I will, if something is going down, I will sacrifice my body and put myself in the yeah, line. Yeah, for right? sure. So, and then everybody else that says they're male feminists, they get to get represented by what I would do. Right. You know, yeah. and they're just fucking coasting because yeah. like 90% of them will do nothing. Yeah, right? right, for sure. So a bunch of the male comedians were like, yeah, I'm a male feminist. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, right? So <laughs> we're outside of Raven. All of a sudden we start hearing the screaming. We look across the street. There's this dude. <laughs> he's got a chick in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Shout out to Raven. I was just gonna yeah. say, shout out to the Raven. <laughs> Makes sense. It's not funny, but it's funny, right? It's Hell funny. yeah, it's what? hilarious, right? He's got a chicken a headlock, and he's got his shirt off, 
Oh. What? <laughs> right, because so the reason he had his shirt off is because he wanted everybody to know not to fuck with him. He was a right. big dude. Right, right, right. He was right, like six right. two and wide. Yeah. You know, hell like yeah. just beefy. Hell yeah. You know? And uh and that's what was happening. Like nobody was fuck like there was like a circle forming around them of people saying, Let her go. Right. But nobody was but nobody doing, was doing anything. anything. Yep. Right. So I'm across the street, out front, and this is back when Raven used to have a break. Yeah. And everybody would go outside, chill. Oh yeah, like in between. Hell in between, yeah. yeah right, right. In between the halves that they say halves now. Yeah, right, it right, was right. Actually, a break. Oh shit, right, yeah, right. Yeah, so it was right. like a fifteen minute break. People would go out, smoke and chill. So it was during that. Everybody's outside. I'm outside with a bunch of male feminists. And then, yet I'm the only person that went across the street. Right, right, right. And you saw. I, w- I go. Uh, I, go <laughs> I go. Hey, let her go. And again, all these other motherfuckers around him tell him to let her go. Just fucking watch it. Just watch it. But they're Hell saying, yeah. let her go, stop. Right. I come over, I say, let her go. And now he, it's just like, now he's triggered. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. He go. He he lets her go. Because <laughs> you, when you let go of a headlock, Respectfully, you just like you lift your arm up and let them out. He let her go, he like pushed her head out of the head. Yo, (laughs) and then he goes, Or what? and then he just comes running at me. Oh, shit, and swings at full speed. And I like ducked under double A takedown, right? Put him down, but he was he was a big guy. He he started kind of working his way back up, right? Scramble, and yeah, it was a little bit of a scramble. Yeah, He, he I was on my back for like a split second, right. And that's what it, they just like. I had to kick in the extra. Ooh, you know what I mean? he, he like, pulled the yeah, fuck dude, in. It was like he pulled the blue belt out. Cause when I when I got the double leg take, this was no, this was still judo shit. This oh, was okay. Before, right, right, right. I mean, I was like grappling with my wife at yeah. this, cause she she's been doing it longer. Okay. So, uh, but this was this is all judo, right? And and just like my ability to think fast and scramble. Yeah, hell yeah. You know. But I know how to do sweeps too, you know. Yeah, so like right, I just, right, like, right. I just dude, I quick swept them on his back, knee on belly, put the pressure on him. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Hell yeah!" Once you right. hear that noise, it's over. Yeah, yeah it's done. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking done. And um, I was telling him, I was like, "Listen, if you if you do something again, I'm gonna hit you." And as I was saying that, like a cop showed up with a taser, like right next to my face. Oh, and I just let him go. But like, and everybody was like, "No, no, he's, he's yeah, right, right, you know, right, right." And, like dude, the dude with his shirt off. Come on, it was clear. Oh yeah, <laughs> obviously he's the fucking yeah. problem. He don't got a fucking shirt on. Yeah, and see, look, that's the problem with like, that's the problem with all this woke shit. Y'all ain't shit but ideas. Like yeah. the fuck is y'all? Y'all nothing but ideas and fucking yeah. stances. Like fighting over somebody. Yeah, it's no action in none of that shit. And, right. Yeah. yeah. It's no action in the. It's just people talking shit about other shit. Was he a comedian? The guy? Yeah. Nah, he was, they were, they were just, they were people not associated with Raven. Okay. So, <laughs> what, en- what you ended up finding, because I stayed there yeah. with him, with the cop, because he-, he was a little bit of a younger guy, and you could see there was just something going on. Yeah. And, because uh, after and afterwards when the cop was like cuffing him, he, he said to me, he's like, yo, that was a good tussle though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. And I he was like, it. Yeah, yeah, I kind of fucked with that. Hell you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. so I stuck around, ended up talking to him. Right. And so what was happening, His he just got paid. He cashed yeah. his check, had all his money in his wallet. Right. That was his chick, his baby's mom. Right. She took his wallet. Uh, he was trying to get it back. Trying to get him. his wallet back. And he had to. Yeah. If anybody's ever tried to get anything from a woman, you know you got to. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they got mm. quick hands. They, they do. Got quick, they got quick, quick ass it's, hands. They're scrambly and squirmy. Hell yeah! You gotta, you gotta pin a woman down. Goddamn first. right. <laughs> you know, so I got almost got pickpocketed in New York about about four or five years ago, and this fucking this white I don't know if she was Russian or she was some fucking Eastern European shit or something, and I just I felt her hand exit in my back pocket. That's all I felt. Yeah. And when I felt that, I turned around, and I grabbed her shit. And I yanked her over to me. I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? She had my wallet in her hand. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? Then this other, this Eastern European man walks up like, no, no, no. She doesn't know what she's doing. Today. I'm like, oh, so this is a setup. This is what y'all do. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. fucking pickpocket people. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm holding her wrist hard as shit. And of course the cops walk up. And they're like, well, what the fuck are you doing? And I got scared as shit. So I let her go. And then they scramble through the fucking crowd. And I'm just there like, 
yo, nah, nah. She tried to pickpocket me. I got my wallet back, but you got to understand, it wasn't me. It was her. Right. That's why I was holding her yeah. like this and that. And look, they, they chilled out. Did she get anything did. from you? Nah, nah, nah. No. She didn't get, she almost did. She had my whole wallet in her hand. Yeah. But I just, I felt her coming out. It's a good thing I wear tight clothes. Yeah. If this was fucking 04, when niggas had on 6XTs and fucking <laughs> rocker wear jeans, she'd have had my shit. She also would have had to get elbow deep in your pocket. Those are some big <laughs> ass pockets. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna feel that? Hey, yo, hell yeah. She done been yeah. that <laughs> fucking digging. Hell yeah. She had to lift my big ass t shirt up yeah. first. You know what Just I mean? to get in my pocket. That was a different time. People didn't get pickpocketed. No, back then. you can't get yeah. pickpocketed back now, then. The pickpocketing game came back hard. Hell with the skinny yeah. Jeans, it did. I mean? yeah. Hell yeah. I saw these girls at the uh, the bar we went to in Conchi after that, that oh, show. Oh, yeah. You know where Contra Hocken is? I live in yeah. Contra Hocken. Oh, yeah. so you know where the pub is, obviously? Yeah. Yeah, so it was these two Johns in the pub. And um, they were yelling at these these dudes, like a group of dudes, and then they left. And then they told us, they was like, yo, they tried to pickpocket us. But I was like, I don't what? believe them. They probably just hating because them bitches was bad and they didn't get them. Right. So then, but I seen them like 20 minutes later and they was talking to this old head at the bar, this drunk fucking like 60-year-old old dude. But they just had their hands all up on him and shit. I'm like, yeah, they got him. Yeah, they sure. got him. Hell yeah. yeah. They got him. Got him for some shit. See, that's the thing. You got to be careful out here, y'all. Because the thing is, it's a lot of fucking predators, and some of them is women. Yo, yeah, women man. are getting fucking loose right now. They're getting Hell busy. yeah. Wait, wait. Goodness is, gracious. Wait, time out. Is this what we doing? This what we taking this podcast right now? We about to fucking women bash? This is well, we taking. I'm with it. Let me, <laughs> listen, I, okay, so I, I, I have to I have to put it in the context. I do a lot of women bashing on my podcast, but there's a woman on it. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> so right. She's there to, you yeah. know what I mean? So, let, let me, so, uh. We've had one before on here, so we're good. Yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> right. It counts. I, I didn't know that. I'm out. No, of I'm <laughs> Is this where she sat? Nah, I don't. <laughs> That's definitely where she sat. <laughs> I'm sitting in a fucking woman's seat. <laughs> yeah, we set him up bad. Nobody cleared this shit. For me. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my my wife is reading this book right now. I forget what it's called. It's, it's an Audible book, so she's listening to this book. Yeah, right? and uh, we share the same Audible account. So I, I saw it on there because she just like zapped all the credits out of nowhere. Oh shit! So. Yeah. I was like, I'll just check out one of these books she's reading. Right. And it's uh, The Alphabet of the Goddess, right? Okay. And basically, the whole premise is why did these, uh, you know, cel- worshipped gods go from female to male? Because okay. right, there, right, right. there was a time when all of these statues were of goddesses. Yeah, were goddesses. Gods. Yeah, hell and yeah. And then there was a transition right. where uh, men then started to become worshipped. Right. So... Basically, the whole entire book is trying to figure out why that was the case. Right. And it has something to do uh, with the way that they're setting it up. I don't know if there's actual causation, but they're setting it up that it, at the very least correlates with the fact that we started to have the written word. Right. Okay. So, right, I right. mean, that's as much as I, I yeah. can get into it because I only listened to the preface. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, you didn't even, you didn't even dive deep. You just no, right. because Because she, she wants to, she's going she's gonna to get into it. And then she's going to talk to me about True. it. True, right, you know okay. I mean? Yeah, so you so, need, need to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So, uh, you know, I just went, I, I, I went and got my own shit. Right. You know, I had to return the book to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell know, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, so I, 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 I'm, with that in mind, that at, at one point women were a little, were in charge uh, in, in an evolutionary capacity. For like, sure. There was a time, and, you know, I, I do believe that there are evolutionary memories to, yeah, to people. Hell right? Yeah, so, Hell yeah. So yeah. That's definitely true. I mean, there's, there's got to be some sort of backlash. I mean, because yeah. women are emotional. All right, okay, now we can bash. Right. <laughs> I'll say that shit in the past, though. Yeah, <laughs> right. Statues old as shit. <laughs> <laughs> we got new statues now. Right, hell yeah. Yeah, we getting rid of them. <laughs> yeah, getting rid of them, hell yeah. They get rid of fucking Robert E. Lee statues and shit like that. Yo. And my thing is, yo, it's a part of history. Fuck it. You want to be out here fucking... Terradale statues of Confederate soldier. If he's from fucking Virginia or Louis, where the fuck he's from, and they got a statue of him, fuck it. You gonna be mad because it's yeah. a Robert E. Lee statue? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, that's like if you. Nah, I don't even want to take this stance right now. Never mind. Yeah, chill, well, Drew. You can't. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me handle this, yeah, Drew. Yeah, yeah. You got it. <laughs> How you gotta talk about Martin Luther King yeah, or something. Yeah, so I'm gonna <laughs> let my lawyer I'm handle a, uh, this. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm take it back to, to women real quick because, again, yeah. right, the evolutionary memory. 
there was once it was all statues of goddesses. Right. And now it's statues of, of men being worshipped, right? right? Flash forward uh, to the social justice movement. Yeah. Which is completely dominated by women and like the, the psyche of a woman. Yeah, for sure. Right? Definitely. So with that being said, it makes sense that the they're like, yeah, and let's fucking get their statues. It does. You right. You know what I mean. You right. Yeah. So if you if you're yeah. looking at it from that, because it's, it's like you said, if it's that evolutionary memory, then it's almost vengeful. It's almost like that's, it's our turn to get back now. Yeah. That's crazy. And yeah. that's that's the ones you see leading the charge for shit like that. Is yeah. women. So that makes sense. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, it, I had Robert E. Lee written down in my notes today for the the one thing that I wanted to talk about right. in this joint, yeah. and it's women bashing too. So oh. see, I, did but y'all, you know we always right yeah, here with one, it, bro? You yeah. already know the telekinesis. Oh, you guys, you guys just normally do that. I didn't bring the synchronicity. <laughs> no, no. Right. No, I mean, no, no, you did. You just completely ignored no, the no. guest. <laughs> As if I wasn't here. I feel the vibes from everybody. <laughs> right. you know no, you, you, yeah. you were the glue. We wouldn't even yeah. go on that topic. We wouldn't have got there. But um, did y'all see the the dude, the black dude in Iowa that kidnapped the white woman? Yeah. And, and held made her, her watch Roots. And held her in his basement and made her watch Roots. <laughs> <laughs> and his name was Robert Lee Noy. <laughs> yeah, yep. <yeah. laughs> That's why I wrote Robert E. Lee. Like, he just thought he was kidnapping some racist ass. <laughs> it could have been any white woman. She he probably wouldn't eat racist. Bro, yeah. that's what, what, what if she was like the AAU coach out there or something? Like, <laughs> like he just he got the whole wrong. <laughs> He's like, damn. And he made her watch Roots, which I didn't even know today. I thought it was a movie. It's a series. It's a series, it's yeah. A long, it's like a, a long ass 11, series. 11 hours, 12 hours? 90 minute episodes. It's 11 episodes. Hell yeah, yeah. 12 hours. That's yeah. long as shit. That's long as shit. Bro, he, he could have had her watch every fucking Medea Goes Wherever movie. <laughs> and it would have yeah. been like the same premise. She could have got some laughs. And it would have been maybe shorter. I, I don't know. <laughs> Did you hear about that, though? <laughs> First of all, if, as far as I'm concerned, this woman right now. Is the only person I know that's watched all of Roots. <laughs> Hell, you can't watch that whole thing. Nah, nah. Especially, look, like, especially, at, look, so when you get to the part, once you get past Kunta Kente get his fucking foot cut off. Yeah. And all that, and he old and shit like that. Ain't nobody watching the rest of that. Nah, nobody watched the middle episode. You ain't watching the middle episodes yeah. of Roots. It's the last, everybody got like the first two or three, and then the last episode. That's it. Yeah, you watch the last yeah. one. That's it. Bro, that shit was crazy. He had her That's tied up crazy. in the basement, and he told her if she tried to move or run away, he would kill her. <laughs> yeah. What? But, but he let her go right after she finished Dude, the series. Of all the be... things he could have done to this woman, you made her watch Roots? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He, it would be funny if you opened the basement door and was like, now what happened in those middle episodes? <laughs> he started quizzing her on it. Right? <laughs> Yo. Failed. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, okay, That's crazy. okay. I see what that happened in the end now. <laughs> right. It's the other yeah. thing. Like, yo, woke people gotta fucking relax. You can be woke as you wanna be, but I tell you this right now. I was raised in a fucking woke ass household. My dad was in the fucking Nation of Islam and shit like that, okay. and my mom was just a Muslim woman that was super woke. And that shit wasn't cool in the 90s. People used to clown the shit. The first fight I got into was because one of my friends said, yo, nah, you my nigga. And wait, wait. my parents said, don't let nobody call me wait, nigga. Hold, hold on one second. Hold, wait, was your black friend? Yo, uh, yes, he was black. And I beat him up. Are you a normal American? A normal American? Yeah, I'm like this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, uh-uh. I'm odd. I tell, I tell you right now, I, I, don't know what he get into. I got an odd upbringing. You feel me? Yeah, well, I am different. Nah, but no. So, uh, yeah, don't let nobody call you a nigga. I mean, yeah, no, no, it's cool. But no, but that's what I'm saying. So all this woke shit now, and like, I, so I spent my whole fucking teenage years, fuck that, my whole middle school, teenage, all that shit, trying to just be regular, like everybody else. You feel me? Yeah. And then I get grown, and now everybody woke, and it's like, what the fuck? When I was a kid, and I was trying to tell y'all about this shit. Everybody, was, oh no, nah, what the fuck are you talking about? Now it's the new fucking trend. Yeah, I get shitty. And then on top of that, it don't even do a reality. It's just some, again, it's just ideas. It's just people talking shit right. about what they don't like. Yeah, even with that, and you know, it's crazy. The article, it was on. Um, I don't even want to pull it back up, but the article said he was known as the black guy in town. Oh shit! So I'm like, man, and it was in Iowa. So I'm like, this might make sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, he probably heard a lot of shit. Yeah, he wait, was wait, fucked wait. up. Okay, he was okay. shit. So how does this make sense? Y'all both agreed on that. Because he's the one black guy in Iowa. <laughs> I get that. I heard that. He probably got called nigga a lot of times. We don't know that, but let's we don't assume know that. that's the case. Let's we assume, assume that's the case for, we the, assume for, the, for, the, for how this makes sense. Yeah, okay. just for the argument, let's assume one that he's black been called guy, nigga at least twice. called a nigga at least twice. The least only twice. thing I see that he did wrong was tell her if he moved, he was going to kill her. Because that, hold on, this is in the article too. He said, 
if he moved, where is it? She has to remain seated and watch the movie with him, or he would kill her and spread her body across, body parts across the interstate on the way to Chicago. What? Yeah. But what he, he let her fucking Batman villain. Why did he know. tell her? <laughs> yeah, his whole right. Yeah, he told her his whole. <laughs> but he let her go wrong? after. So <laughs> what is wrong yeah, with you? I think if he, had, if he didn't say all that, or did Batman stop him? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Batman oh, this is where he fucked the bag. He's a fucking dummy. Let's yeah. t- let's take let's take a deep yeah. dive. Let's take a deep dive real quick. If you really super woke black boy, right, and you wanna, and your whole thing is, oh, I wanna eradicate the white race. This is what you do. You gotta have sex with their women and make babies. It, then you got to then it's Steph Curry's out here everywhere. You feel me? Well, I don't want to presume his uh, intention because it seems like he wanted to not eradicate the white race, but educate the white yeah, race. Yeah, true. Facts. That is what it is. You're <laughs> he right. He seems to have had a different angle. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I mean, listen, I'm all for fucking. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, I just feel like do it through love. Why you got to do it through fucking bro. kidnapping and shit like that? He made her watch 700 minutes of TV with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but here, here's the thing though. No snacks and a shitty TV because that <laughs> no. that movie was made like the '80s or some shit. No popcorn, yeah. no nothing. You wait, wait, the it, it, movie. it said that there was no, no popcorn. I, yeah, I just made that up. Oh, you can't be doing that though. You know. <laughs> <laughs> if, what if he cooked her good food the whole time? <laughs> Yo, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she came out of there with diabetes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving her all this Jamaican food. Trying Hell yeah, to yeah, but your culture. Uh, the the. The forceful abduction was also something she did wrong, or he did wrong. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, like, you're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like, I'll kill you. Like, you've really crossed the line there, sir. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> crazy. But, but forceful it's abduction. It's also and... like, come here. Is <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. <laughs> it's also a bad thing. Yeah. Tying, yeah. tying people up in the basement is also crossing the line. Oh, you're you right. know what? Good point. I didn't even get there yet. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> right. That's the yeah, right, it's three for three. three. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't kill her. Like, yeah, he didn't kill her. He's not a murderer. Yeah. But listen, my thing is, if you kidnapping, fuck it, finish the job. You about to go to jail for a long ass time anyway. Oh, you he's fucking doing kidnapping. Life, yeah. Wait, yeah, fuck it. He did. She watched all the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> he finished the job. He watched the and whole movie. Set her free. <laughs> that was dumb as shit. My thing, yo, listen. If you committing crimes, you better. You got to commit to the crime. But that but, but, we all here half assing y'all crimes. What y'all doing? We're in this. We're in this world right now where where that kind of crime isn't. Isn't necessarily a crime in the mind of the person. He probably really thought he was doing something right, good, and right. that this is going to be when people hear about this, they're going to be like, "Yeah, this makes <laughs> you're sense. right." You know what I mean? So hell yeah, we're going to see a lot of that because yeah. okay. So so I'm I am uh, listening to this book called "The Coddling of Is It the American Mind?" The co- whatever, it's yeah. Called. But it's uh, it, it's 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 based off these three axioms. So the whole entire book. They're based off these three things that are happening amongst uh, the the youth culture, yeah. and I would say up through like early thirties, right? Right. So the one uh, untruth is what he's calling them. So the one untruth that these people are believing is that um, what is it? Uh, et, like uh, the 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 one is like everybody is evil. And right. everything's like people are either good or evil, yeah. and the ones that are evil need to be shamed. Right. right. The one is uh, if you feel like you're right, you're right. Yeah. And the other one is um, if something doesn't kill you, it makes you weaker. So like avoid all outside any type of challenge no, and yeah, shit. Any yeah. triggering thing. Right. Avoid right, right, all right. triggering things. Hell yeah. So it's like basically going oh, through that's three fuck. things. That's really what's happening. That's really what's right. Yo, that's fucked. That yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Hell yeah. yeah. That's, yo, that's yeah. really what's going on right now. Yeah, Fuck. it's pretty. It's it's just ridiculous. Yeah. It, it's just, so, and uh, so like I, I he did this really uh, fun thing where he he made he goes uh, he goes uh, at the end where he because I did it in reverse order. So mm-hmm. it's uh, whatever doesn't uh, kill you makes you weaker. Right. If you feel like you're right, you're right. And it's a battle between good or evil, shame right. all evil until it goes away. Right. And then the guy says, "Well, what about the other side? Don't they think?" They're right. Exactly. How do you know you're right? And he goes, uh, well, remember the second one? If you feel like you're right, you're right. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Right. So that's like, yeah, it's it's a fucking twisted world that we live in right now. It is. So you know, It's because no, nobody is like situational. <clears throat> People are so uh, like, if you're this, then this is what you are. If I think you're this, this is what you are. It's like, nah. But maybe man, you, maybe that's what he thought. Like you were saying, like. Yeah, this is right, so I gotta do it. Yeah, I so I, exactly, and that's what, and that's what that. But that's the whole problem. Exactly. Because no, exactly. what it is is like, all right, so 
like you see how I am. I judge everybody off of our interaction. Yeah. If I talk to you and you cool or you respectful, some shit like that, I fuck with you. Then we good. Until the the moment you prove to me that you're not that no more, and it's like, all right, whatever. That's just who you are. And not even who you are, it's who you are right now. It's not who you are tomorrow, not who you are a year from now. It's who you are right now. So right now, I'm not fucking with you. But I'm not holding no grudges. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not judging nobody because I'm situational. I'm day to day. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I wake up almost like a blank slate every day, unless you did something crazy, like you fucking smack one of my kids and some shit like that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, they're just like, all right. Kidnap my white neighbor. It's like, it's like why, why'd fruit. you smack him, though? <laughs> like, what, what do you right, do? What do you do? Smack my fucking... What do you do? No, let me talk to him. Right. Let me see if he actually did that. You right. Know, it's, uh, but seriously, don't smack my kid. I'll break your arm. Yeah, I will <laughs> yeah. fuck somebody up if yeah. you hit my kid. Don't do that. But yeah, but you, like, that's, that's so crazy because, and it's, I think a big problem is that whole good and bad shit. People don't realize that one, that shit is relative, and two, that's just some human shit. Like good and bad, not real. That's just not real. It's real to us, yeah. but it's not real to like nature. That's just not yeah. a real thing. I got in an argument with a girl because she said I, t- I said good and bad isn't real in nature, and she said yes it is. What about lava? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you must be the dumbest bitch ever. I'm like, yo, it would it would be it would be no land masses if it wasn't for volcanoes and lava. We'd be just it'd just be water. <laughs> like that's it. Said, what about lava? <laughs> she said lava was evil <laughs> lava because it destroys people's houses in Hawaii. That's why lava is evil. Don't build houses in Hawaii. <laughs> right. Like what the fuck? It's yeah. just like Florida. Like, don't fucking permanently live in Florida. Right. Yeah. Good good vacation home during yeah, the winter. Visit, yes. Yes. Living there in August, terrible. No, that's why dumb would you as shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't make any sense. She was trying to prove to me that there's evil shit in nature. And I'm like, yo, and for everything that she brought up, I always brought up some fucking counter argument. It's like, yo, no, but this creates this type of fucking, you know, whatever the type of creation this is. Yeah, this got burned down, but then this was made. Or, and it's like, yeah. it's not real. So so what's happening, If what I, what I feel like is happening is that we're trying to create new wisdom, right? Right. Which can't be done. Nah. Because one of the things that proves the validity of a new uh way to be in society or a mm-hmm. new like social construct right yeah. is it has to it has to ride with ancient wisdom for sure right and so one of the things that are in ancient wisdom that goes with this is uh and i like the way uh marcus aurelius puts it he go, it's uh nothing is neither good or bad if it can happen to someone that is either good or bad. Ooh. Damn. Right? He, took that, a, he took us yeah. to Gladiator on that. Yeah. Ooh. Our fans learning more on this podcast than they did in the first what? fucking. All our podcast <laughs> was bullshit and laughs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just the most yeah. educational shit ever. Yeah. I like to do I dig both. It. No, I dig, <laughs> I dig that, yo. Hell I dig yeah. It, yeah. I knew Cindy yeah. was coming here and get deep, though. I fucking knew it. Hell yeah. But my bad. Yeah. I cut you off. Nah, that's it. That, oh, was, yeah. that was it. I mean, it's yeah. just. I mean, I. It's just the truth. It's like there, there really is no good or bad. But it's just we live our perspective, and it's like I don't know, right. like bad shit. That, like when stuff, and, and so, and it, it, just to swing it back to or, or the race thing, yeah. right? So there's a really big communication problem between the cultures. Oh, for sure, and hell yeah. The biggest thing is that in in a situation where there is an interaction. And then there is an outcome. Mm. And if the outcome appears to be more favorable for the white person, yeah. then that is perceived as racist. For sure. Right? Yeah. For sure. It's just that simple. Yeah, that's true. And so with that being the fucking model, yeah. and then you have all these kids who are in this culture that stems from like a racist past, right? right? And they want to honor their heritage by right. not allowing this to persist and they have more power in their hands than their forefathers For sure. right so they're now trying to do they're trying to be proactive yeah but there really isn't anything to be proactive not in this regard yeah right dude, it's right, like, right right yeah. pick a new fight yeah you're you're fighting the wrong like make dude, it's everything is racist. No, it is. Yeah. And look, look, and you and it you, always get brought back to that in arguments. Always. And a lot of the shit you were saying, like that deep rooted shit, it just fall on deaf ears. Like you could, you could preach to people all you want. You could get in front of them. You could have you go talk to the most racist white dude in the world and actually like have an educated conversation with him. And be like, oh, this this man is cool. Yeah. But at the end of the day, those conversations a lot of the times do fall on deaf ears, and people just like. 
Well, well, tomorrow I'm still going. Yeah, here. I'm going. You're I'm, I'm yeah. living how I'm living. Yeah. And see, look, and that's the, that, but that's the problem though. The problem is that that is the pe- problem. People too busy trying to change other people. My thing is, yo, just live your fucking life. Exactly. Live your fucking life. I get along with everybody for the most part. I don't give a yeah. fuck where I am. I get along with everybody because the thing is, people respond to positive energy. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck where you raised. I don't give a fuck what's going. I, I remember we was in North Carolina's one time, and remember, I told you we put up at the gas station. And the guy is like, yo, of course, old, super old, racist white guy. And he like, uh, yeah, y'all boys must be lost. It's a gas station about two miles that way. And I'm like, but we here at your gas station now trying to get gas. Gas right here. Right. And he like, uh, uh-uh. It's a gas station about two miles that way. So I'm like, oh, all right. I get what he's saying. My friend tried to force the issue. What? No, he's being racist. I'm like, yo. Why the fuck you won't give me your money anyway? Yeah, I don't right. give a fuck what the reason is that he telling us to go to another gas station. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck it. That's, just go. Yeah, y'all could have sat there and either beat him up or you could have had the educated conversation. Right. Regardless, it's a waste not, of time. Yeah, this guy's fucking it. 50 years old. Yeah. You're not going to talk about whatever he's yep. thinking. Whatever he's thinking. Have a good day, but sir. See, here, here, <laughs> right. Here's the thing. So he, he, he has to suffer his own racism. Right? Yeah, he we, lost we, money. We was four cars deep, and we was all about to fill up. Yeah, he lost money. Yeah. Oh well, that's he yeah, yeah. he he missed out. But even his his day. That's why, like, if you if if I really feel like somebody is racist, which I, I mean, it's it's rare. I, like I grew up, it's in, super I grew rare. Up in, it's I grew super up in rare. Pottstown, and until 1994, when I was 14 years old. Every year, the KKK marched down High Street. Yeah, the, the street. That's town. how when I went to Kutztown, they had a uh, KKK march. Yeah, I grew up seeing yeah. Klan rallies all the time. Hell right? yeah! And I will still say, coming across an actual racist person is rare. It's super rare. I've been called a nigga one time by a white person in my yeah. whole life. But that doesn't even mean that person's racist. They were probably just trying to nah, get nah. at you. He thought. Nah, I was talking to his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, all is fair to love Hell yeah, right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You talk to my girl. If you talk to my girl, I might say the same thing. Dog, I'm lining them up right now, nigga. This nigga, that nigga. (laughs) (laughs) That's the one time it's acceptable. Right. Hell yeah. I don't even I don't even use the word like that. (laughs) Right, right, right. You'll hear it that day. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you talking to that nigga? (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, yeah, what was I I forget what I was saying, I apologize. Because it's, ca- it's kind of a new rally at High Street. Yeah. So again, like, so racism is is super rare, right? But people yeah. are still trying to to fight against it. So I was thinking about this on the way over here. So, like, I, I'm kind of at this in this weird. Gen- I don't even know what my generation is. Like, I'm 39. I don't know what that makes me. Right. You generation X or some shit like that. See, right. It's like in a, it's a weird. Yeah. You in between. You in between a millennial and like a like generation X. Dude. So here's what the coolest thing per- perception wise right so I-, I was coherent when the information age started to take off right, right? okay so the, the at first it, it was car phones then cell phones right then fucking it just the it just blew just up exploded yeah. Insane, Hell yeah. Right? right so i was part of the generation that had that got to live a noticeably better life than my parents Right, okay. Right? right. So before m- my generation, parents would be like, <laughs> they're like, say to the same, like, man, you have it so good. When I was your age, I had, you know, I had to work, or I had to like take care of three kids right. and work. And he's like saying it to his 13 year old son that's working in the mine with him. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Do you know what I mean? Hell yeah, and right. And like, it, it, would, it was so, it was like maybe better, but like marginally better. Yeah. And like to the point where the person who they were saying that it was better to, they were like, whatever. It's like, you, you didn't live a harder life. Dude. Right. My life is tough. Yeah. And then, you know, it was like the greasers, like, whatever, dude. You know, it's like, <laughs> and then with, with my generation, it's like our parents tell us what their life was like, and we're like, "Holy fuck!" Dude. Hell yeah, you think yo, that's yo, that's real shit. Like? Yeah. Hell yeah, it's Please such a don't big let that gap. Happen to me. <laughs> right, yo, it's such it's, a gap. It's between the widest them. gap, yes, in Hell generational yeah. history. Right, I think you might be the start of our generation, and I think I'm the end of it. I'm 25. I'll be yeah. And you don't act like yeah. yeah. You don't act like the younger but, 20s. But no, nah, I feel like a lot of people that are 25, we kind of because we came up with the same thing. Like y'all I, still vibe with us. Yeah, cell phones weren't around really for me till like the eighth grade of high school. Which right. I mean, that's that's early compared yeah. to like what y'all are talking about. But yeah. still, like 
Yeah. I feel like my little brother, he's five years younger. Right. He grew up in a whole different time period yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Like, he he yeah. didn't have social media and all that exactly. his whole life. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell I didn't yeah. have a Facebook till I was like 17. Like, right. Yeah. And see, but, and I'm the same way. Like, Facebook came out my freshman year of college. Now these kids are TikTok famous at 11. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, like, my son is lit on TikTok. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, popping, he's yeah. popping. My son is popping on yeah. TikTok. And, and I'll be looking at, like, yo, if I had this type of following on any platform, I'd be rich. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, they got a whole, they in a whole different world. He they in a whole way different world. than we do. Hell, what yeah. the hell? Yeah, my son's killing it. Yeah. With just silly ass dances on yep. TikTok. It's crazy, Shit yo. They live in a whole different world than we live in. Yeah. But that's the you know what? That's the beauty of it though. The beauty of the beauty of all this shit. I'm about to I'm about to say some shit that I don't know how y'all gonna feel about it, but you know, I'm it's kinda it. weird, but it's kinda deep. The thing is, shit just is what it is, right? And shit is the way that it's supposed to be. And you can't really like I think I feel like people get too caught up in what they feel like shit should be. And that shit don't matter. It don't matter what the fuck you think shit should be. Because at the end of the day, most of the shit is balanced out. We got fucking oxygen and carbon dioxide, right? From fucking plants and shit like that. We breathe that shit out. They breathe it in. They breathe that shit out. We breathe it in. Right. If that shit is in perfect balance, what the fuck are we complaining about? You don't know shit. You don't know what the fuck is supposed to happen. You don't know how shit should be. You don't know... Everything yeah. is the way it's exactly supposed to be. Just leave it alone. But, it was running long before we was here. So right. So yeah. leave it alone. Leave it the fuck alone. Well, here, here's 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 the flip side of that. Okay. Right. By nature, we're we're tool building and tool using creatures. For sure. Right. And through that process, we've been able to uh, make the road easier for us instead of adapting exactly. to the road. You know yeah. what I mean? Hell yeah. So, but that's what we do by nature, yeah. right? So I, I was so I was just thinking about this today on, on this on this level. I'm, I'm really up in the air on how I feel about this whole transgender thing. Okay. Right? And especially transgender, like ki- kids transition. Now that's fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. And, and don't cut his dick off, Dwayne. Don't cut his dick <laughs> off, Dwayne. Right? It's like so you gotta you gotta think about this stuff, right? And yeah. it, it's like it's not something that that I would do. And but as a parent, right? Yeah. If if you you have this bond and this understanding with your kid, mm. and if you if you feel like you can see that this this kid who is telling you they're in the wrong body, and you feel this. If yeah, like you, you know it's real. It. Yeah, no, what do you do as a parent? I will do. I there there is nothing that would make me motivated to murder a human being more than something that happened to my kid. Oh, for sure. Hell yeah. I will. Hell I will yeah. do anything. Hell yeah. I will do Hell anything yeah. for my kid. Right. So if if this is if they're being tortured, I don't and I don't understand this torture. Yeah. And there's something that can alleviate that. Right. And as a tool building society, we have created. The means to handle that. Yeah. Are we separate from the fact that we build tools? Are aren't human? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause, I mean, well, I look at it like, like innovation is a part. Like, the problem is a lot of times we separate ourselves from everything else in the universe. We did, we a part of this shit. So whatever the fuck we build is a part of this big build. It's a part of the, whatever the fuck this universe is doing. It's all a part. So if it's transgenders and they can choose the fucking change their sex and do whatever the fuck they want to do i feel like that's a decision you make once you're just about grown at yeah. least at least wait till they a teenager because at least at, at, at once you're a teenager you know what you like uh, yeah i was gonna say like 18 makes sense for shit like Th- that that makes sense for that i feel we part of the universe and everything and everything else in it yeah but like he said we are a different type of creature yeah we we're are, more conscious we, yeah, we're the only ones that have the ability to do like we can like kill that. ourselves Lions and shit like that can't even think deep enough to kill themselves. Yeah. A, a lion will starve to death <laughs> before yeah. he'll jump off a cliff. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy. But like again, but there there, there are also uh, just 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 the you know for uh, journalistic integrity. Right? Yeah, hell yeah. So there are examples of animals uh, in captivity, and I guess like in a. Because even these like safari parks in Africa, they they have big yeah, ranges, but it's like it's captivity. It's still captivity. Yeah, they, yeah. Know they, so, yeah. they know they know they're not free. Yeah, so they've seen animals, you know, after like a, a, a an attached loved one 
past, yeah, they'll stop eating. They'll yeah, starve, uh, yeah, they'll, definitely. They'll yeah. starve themselves. I heard that before. Right? Yeah, so for sure. I mean, so at least in that, I mean, they gotta they gotta know that they've been eating to live their whole entire life. For sure, that's true. And if they're choosing to not eat. That that has to be a choice. To, okay. I believe animals are more conscious than we think they are. So do I. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So they more just, conscious. Yeah, than we, we yeah. just can't understand it. Yeah, we just can't. We can't so, understand that. For shit. Sure. But again, I still feel like that at the end of the day, because we we all part of the same shit. And again, there's some trippy shit that I'm saying right now. Yeah. But because we all part of the same shit, I think everything just is how it's supposed to be. Even with all this trend, if I if if yeah, if, I this, agree with that. if this podcast is over, like we end this podcast tonight, I fucking leave and I get fucking murdered. That's what the fuck was supposed to happen. Can't you can't question it. You can't be like, well, why? But Naeem was nah, uh, nah, fuck that. That's what was best for this whole big thing. Yeah. We look at it just from our perspective. Like, yeah. oh, well, this is what I want. I want Drew to be here forever. I right. want Cindy to be here forever. But that's not real life. That's not what's best for the whole fucking thing. You see what I'm saying? Like, but it's like, if you break it down to a smaller scale, it's like ants in an ant hill. Like you could step on fucking thirty ants. Yeah, that ant hill still gonna be it's still gonna be there. Like, right? yeah. So Hell like, yeah, they gonna reproduce. They gonna we all just big ants with thumbs. Real like, rap. Like look, <laughs> yo, real. That's real rap. <laughs> just yeah. big ants with thumbs. Dog. Like look, I hear, like like the fucking Kobe died. Kobe got Kobe died right. In the fucking the world we, moves on. Fucking basketball players were dropping fifty every night. Yeah, just because Kobe died, like it it elevated the level of basketball. Yeah, and that's what happens a lot of times when people die. Like when a lot of times when people die, and you already know, most of my jokes is about fucking death. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? I see a lot of people that was here one day, it was going the next day, and all it does is make the people around them better. I started doing comedy because somebody close to me got killed, and he yeah. was funny as shit. He always said that I should try comedy. I'm like. Let's do it. Let's go right. see what it is. You see what I'm saying? Like, he's dead now. Let's go do it. Let's see what's happening. And that's what it is. It's like, yo, we don't know. You can't. The fucked up thing about people is that people think that they know. You don't know shit. We don't know a fucking thing. Just fucking live it. That's all I'm saying. Just live it. Yeah. Just see what's happening. You don't know nothing. Why pretend like you do? Why pretend like you know like how this shit's supposed to be? You don't fucking know a goddamn thing. Yeah, but we're we're in a culture where we're being told that we, we do know and that not only that we know that we're being, our emotions are what are informing us of that knowledge. That's true. Right? And nothing feels more real than emotions inside of you. That's true. You know, so. It's like, and it's a purpose for that too, though. It's a purpose for emotions. Like, that shit leads you to something. Like. It's supposed to. I mean, even if it leads you to doing some crazy shit, it leads you to something. Yeah, but if you can channel them, it, all, it can lead to some it, production. It leads you sure. to, yeah. yeah. Emotions lead. Yo, you ever, yo. You ever been cheated on? What? Yeah. That should make you turn your whole life up. <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah. I'm working out every fucking day. I gotta get some more money. I gotta get well, a better I've never car. Been cheated on. I'm just agreeing with what you're saying right now. You, you out of pocket. You, you a bitch for life. You're not a man. You're not a man yet, then, Drew. How you get cheated nah, on facts. yet? Get your fucking shit together, dog. I'm trying, dog. I'm gonna hook you up with a bitch that's gonna cheat on you tomorrow. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? Down. You fucking. Yeah. You gotta I'll get cheated on. You not living yet. That's a one night stand. <laughs> Hell, right. <laughs> yeah. That's why you still be getting nervous talking to girls, talking to bad joints, dog. Cause you ain't been cheating. Once a girl cheat on you, you don't give a fuck about none. You of really? Them. You you've never had your heart broken? No, I've had my heart broken. I've never been cheated on though. How'd you have your heart broken then? Um, I well, so I was supposed to move in with this girl, and we were we was together for like two years, and it's crazy because like. You know how when you in a relationship, you know it's it's not going well, but like you just trying to do anything to hold on to it, like you just throwing yeah. hail marys and shit. So um, I don't know. We was fighting all the time, whatever. We got back on good terms. I got her to agree to move in with me, and then she moved in for like three days, and then it was like we broke up on some. Uh, she might have cheated on me. Actually, I might have got cheated on. You're right. I know for a fact you got cheated on. Yeah. Listen, you got a bit about you getting cheated on. But but I don't know that it happened. So, listen, he got a he had an ex that he saw on her live was hanging with Rick Ross for a goddamn a whole night. Yeah, backstage. She did something with him, bro. You it's Rick Ross, bro. Yeah. You're bugging right there. It's yeah. Rick, he's a millionaire. He's not hanging with any woman that's not doing something. That's what I said too. <laughs> You definitely got Bro, cheated on. It ain't no way worse to find out you got cheated on than your cousin texting you. Yo, look at Rick Ross's Snapchat. Hey, I'm like, yo. nah, what are you doing? <laughs> Not thinking nothing of it. Right. 
But yeah. <laughs> like that's crazy. All right, yeah, that did happen. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's all right. Everybody but, get cheated on. Well, yeah, that same girl. We broke up. Like I was just more or less fucked up because I'm like, damn, I thought I had somebody help me pay these bills and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm we saying. We was moving in together. Right, like, we were splitting the life. Yeah, yeah. and that was over. That's, Hell not, yeah. that's not real heartbreak. I had your toothbrush in here and shit. Now yeah. I'm, look, I'm throwing away your toothbrush. Like, <laughs> it's a sad day, yo. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's not, I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? That's not heartbreak. Nah, you're right. That's yeah, fucking yeah. roommate break. Yeah, you didn't, yeah, basically. You didn't have love snatched from your heart. That's just emotional yeah. white people shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, heart, yeah, heartbreak is different because you like, heartbreak is more possessive. You like, no, you yeah. mine. You supposed to be mine. Like, you supposed to. That's what I went through. I had to throw her throw her toothbrush away. Yeah, I'll never that's forget that. Up. Yeah. Yeah, dog. But that shit like what? that shit like that makes you stronger, yo. Fucking getting done dirty. Oh yeah. Getting fucking knocked the fuck out by somebody. All that shit make you stronger, yo. All that shit, yo. Like I'm trying to tell you. People avoid the hard shit and they should and they should fucking run towards it. Nah, they do well now people avoid the hard shit. Yeah. Because you, again, you can. Mm-hmm. You can most you can live a life online. It's easy to yeah. avoid all the hard shit. That's true. So it's you know why why wouldn't you? You know if, if if all this is leading to like a life of a life that you can design a, your your own path. Yeah. You know like right. this is all a fucking simulation anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Bro, you know what's funny <laughs> is before y'all came in and I was just running out of shit to talk about. That's what I started. Talking yo, look, about. and I got a bit about that shit. But you right, yo. It is a sim deal. Yeah. This is a simulation. Fucking Donald Trump is our president. And not even only that, the Simpsons predict so much shit that's about to happen. And it's like that's like the fucking you you know, you remember back in the day you could buy a fucking God book for video games and shit? Yeah. That's the Simpsons. Watch the fucking Simpsons. Disregard the funny bullshit, dumb shit, and just pay attention to it. Yo, that's the God book for everything yeah. that's about to happen, yo. Nah, it is crazy, like I don't even know how to get into that because there's so many conspiracies around it. And, like, after it's a while, weird. you're like, all right, dog, like, what's really going on? It can't be that many. It, listen, my like, thing is, it's not that many coincidences ever. Exactly. You predicted 9 11, <clears throat> Trump being president. Yo, it's, it's um, stupid shit, yo. There's so many things. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it was even something with that Princess Diana shit. Like, it was something with that shit. Like, something with her driving in the tunnel on there or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, it's so much shit with The Simpsons that's weird, yo. Yeah. It's well, weird as fuck. Well, hold on, though, because... Th so, The Simpsons were always... Uh, they were always a little bit edgier, right? Yeah. So, they were making the jokes that other people weren't making. Right. But, but it was, like, one of those things where, like, everybody was thinking it. Yeah. So, like, at the time, Princess Diana, used to, she used to get chased by paparazzi all, all the, the time. All the time, yeah. And everybody was like, you cannot, and you, you would see, like, clips of it sometimes, and you would see, like, these car chases. Hell yeah. And you're like, you can't live a life like that. Right. You, you know can't, what I mean? Every yeah. day, she's going to die in a car yeah, crash. Yeah, she's going to die, yeah. Yeah, you know? okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, but, so, somebody, so some writer probably was like, yo, eventually, this ain't going to end right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. So, it's like, because it, it, it's, like, I, 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 I get it. Like, they, they definitely nailed a few things yeah right? well so let's say more than a few hell for, for yeah the sake of for it. sure but they also throw a lot of absurd shit they out do. there yeah. that's based off of the what with like the trend right because right? that's another that's something that comedians are just naturally good at noticing is are like weird social trends for sure that's right? true that's definitely so true. you know they're just a bunch of high level and just like throwing these out there for for jokes that trump escalator shit was weird though but I think that's an yeah. art imitating reality right? thing. Like so that's, you, I think that's a thing where it's like we saw this on The Simpsons, and then he's on his escalator, and this person just happened to be holding his sign up, yeah. Trump 2020 or Trump 20, what the fuck, 2016, and it just so happened to match that same exact Simpsons shit. Yeah. I think that's just one of those art, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, or one of those, or, you know, because that's the... The whole saying, does art imitate reality? Does reality imitate art? I think that's just one of those whole things where it's like this whole thing just matched up because this person probably saw this, saw the, that episode of The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. They made that sign. They held it up right when he's going down the escalator. And it's like, yeah, okay, of course. You right. saw this on The Simpsons before. So, yeah. of course you would do that. Millions of people watch The Simpsons every fucking day. So, of course you could copy that shit and do that same shit. Like, it's yeah, crazy. But we're also, we're just like constantly... Even even before all this, uh, you know, interconnectivity through social, the internet and social yeah. media, right? 
the world was always this weirdly connected thing where you would have this phenomenon where somebody will come up with an invention yeah. in one part of the world. Right. Always at the same time that somebody came up with the same shit in a completely That's different true. part of yeah. the world where they yeah. weren't even in contact with each other. Right. So, I mean, there's, I just think there's more of an uh, interconnected play that we don't understand, but we look at it as, you know, like fortune telling or, or Hell prediction. Yeah. Or it could be Yo, a simulation. He on my shit right now. What I told you, yeah. Drew? Look, I told you, fuck it. I don't know when the fuck I told him this. I believe that I don't consciousness. This look, yeah, I know. I already know. Consciousness yeah. is a fucking pool, yo. That we just oh, yeah. fucking. It's like your fucking hand, and this is consciousness. And then boom, your fingers is like this is you, this me, this Drew, this. You see what I'm saying? So it's like we all fucking connected to this one fucking source of consciousness that we pull from. And the problem is because we humans, we like to think that we individuals. We like to think like, oh no, this is my spirit. And that's Drew spirit, and this fucking Sydney spirit. Nah, nah, we all just pulling from the same fucking thing, but we just want to be selfish. You feel me? We just want to feel like we individuals, like we special. Yeah. But you ain't though. You just regular. You just a part of this one thing. That's all it is. Which is why shit like that happens. Which is why fucking coincidence. Which is why when you think about somebody, sometimes they pop up. Right, or like, oh, it could be anything though. Like, you you ever catch yourself just staring at somebody, and then but they far as shit away, and then they staring back at you, and like, I don't just like little yeah. shit like that always do add up to me. Where I'm like, yeah. yo, I don't was, know how this happens, but it's happening, and we relating somehow. Right, on. yo, it yeah. was this girl that I used when I was in college. I used to think about this bitch all the time. I used to think about her all the fucking time. I was about to say her name. I ain't gonna give her that fuck type of credit. You Keisha. feel me? No, it's not Keisha. <laughs> Laquisha. No, it's not Laquisha. Laquisha? Ke- Keisha's and Laquisha's don't go to college. It mean they in the hood pregnant at 15. You feel me? They fucked up in life. They fuck with community college for a semester. Yeah, they do. They yeah. do. They ain't going to Kutztown. Nah, they ain't, they ain't. Nah, they ain't going out. They ain't, they ain't hitting up Kutztown. But I used to think about this girl all the time. And I mean, yo, dog, it was literally like I would think about her and then I would see her. Whenever I like, I would think about her and yeah, literally exactly. see her within the next twenty minutes when I'd be thinking about her, like almost every time until the day when I fucking went at her and then I got her and then I everything just got fucked up. But before I got her, literally, I would think about this girl and then I would see her anywhere, just any fucking where. And I think it's just one of those things where it's like, yo, we all taken from this pool, or it could be coincidence. I mean. Or it could be a mixture of both. But I, I think know. I think that's what coincidence is. I think yeah. that's what that, I think that's what that past life shit is. Remember I'm talking about the the kid, the fucking four year old kid that thought he was a pilot in World War Two, and he could he, this kid could explain everything. He could explain the engines on the plane. He said where he crashed at. He knew who his sister was. They looked all the shit up, and boom, here it is. He this, everything he was saying was basically true, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think it's that people got spirits that travel from life to life. I think we just all pulling from the same fucking. This kid was born fucked up, and he can remember some shit from somebody else. I don't think it was that he had a past life. Like, no, fuck no. Well, I mean, so, I mean, speaking about things that don't exist, you know, when you're talking about good and bad, but, like, time doesn't exist. It doesn't. Everything's right now. Yeah, so it's just a moment, right? Hell yeah. So everything. That's man-made. Yeah, Yeah. time is man-made. Yeah, we set the clocks. Hell yeah. Ain't no past. The sun just go up and it come down. It go up and come down. Yeah, right. Yeah. And not even, it's just a, a cycle that's happening right now. Right. Yeah. Like, we talking right now, but the earth spinning, the moon going around us, we going around us. Everything's happening right now. We just yeah. stupid, and we got to fragment shit so we can understand it. Which helps. Right? It does. It helps you yeah. understand shit. <laughs> you know yeah. Yo, if we lived in a moment, I would kick you in the face and punch him and then run out the fucking... <laughs> like, I would do all type of weird shit if we were just... In a moment. Sydney, like, yeah. I'll catch that. Hell yeah. <laughs> so like, That's Hell a dub. Yeah. I'm just like, why does that got to be your moment, dog? Like, <laughs> I'm just you saying. You can do anything. Yeah. Like, if you're just yeah. in a moment, what else we, we going to do? We was cool. You want to fight us now? Like, yeah. So I'm just saying, what else are we going to do? And I got the blue belt on my team now, <laughs> yeah. so it's over for it. Why's your moment like this? <laughs> you need to get your moment checked you out. You could have got some your moment like, checked out. You could have went and got some coochie, anything. Yeah. Ate some lobsters. You just want I'm gonna punch my two friends and then. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, it's just right. If it's just if you just literally living for right now, yeah, like, yeah. I'm gonna do the craziest shit I can do right now. I'm gonna jump out this fucking window. <laughs> I'm just gonna do anything. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna knock these cameras down. Ah, I'm just gonna go crazy. So I want to add to that though that there's also the fact that everything's made of all the same stuff. Right. 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 There's like it's, it's not like you know I'm only made out of human shit. 
and then this table's only made out of table shit. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, it's all, all like carbon and yeah, fucking yeah. all the same shit, Hell just yeah, different combinations true. of all the same stuff. So Hell yeah. because of that's an interconnectivity, right? Mm-hmm. And then the same things that we're made out of are the same things that exist in the air, right? Right. So technically there's no space between us. That's true. There's only other things between you know, so Hell yeah. every like everything's always all connected at one time right you know at, and in in any in any moment true. everything's always connected in an inner plane right? right so you can with uh the the thing we're saying like look at somebody and they'll feel you look yeah. and that, yeah. they'll feel it they yeah. feel it like, yeah look, you, you can, can feel yeah, when somebody staring you can at look you look at their neck you can look at their ass you can look and the, you'll, the person you're like what the fuck was yeah it? yeah know? hell it's, yeah uh, you know but that's like this the, the space in between right right it, it's all connected it is Already, and then so we know that the brain works on uh, electric, electric like yeah. pul- impulses, right? And I think that so that's a frequency. Everybody's brain is operating at a frequency. Yeah. If, if that is the case, that everybody's brain has electric me- impulses. Yeah. Right? So and if everybody's different, everybody's brain is different. For sure. So then everybody, I'm assuming has a signature frequency. Right. Right. So when you like when you focus that that frequency in a in a direction, I I, I don't know I can't prove it, but like yeah. I think there's gotta be some manipulation of the the fuck the connective right. shit in between right. you. Going like on the on electromagnetic yeah. field or some yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, that's definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. true. That's definitely it's like, true. It's like the so hell you yeah. uh, you see the movie Avatar? Yeah. Where they have that tree that's connected yeah, to everything. Yeah, to everything. Dude, it's Deeper than that, it's like hell every, yeah. it's all already connected it's to everything. It's all hell you know, yeah, all it time. is. So I, I do, I do believe that. That's why I look. Remember we, on the last podcast we was talking about that fucking astrology shit, right? The only reason why I, I don't believe the shit that people write, like, oh, if you a fucking Leo on today. This oh, is what yeah, it yeah. is. If you're a fucking Virgo today, this, right. I don't believe. Well, fuck those all, all be that. So generic. Yeah, they so be generic. Like, yeah. yeah, fuck that. But I do think that there's a fucking there's something to you being born at a certain time, when the sun is at a certain point, when the fucking earth is at a certain, it's something to that shit. Because at the end of the day, if I'm born in the winter time, my fucking my life experience is is, is gonna be a little bit different than somebody born in the summer. Just because when I'm born, it's cold as shit. I ain't going outside when I'm first born. It's cold as shit. My parents ain't take me outside. They're like, yo, it's cool. We gonna keep you in the house till about April. You see what I'm saying? So it's different shit I'm doing in my house. Then some boy that's born in fucking July, and he outside for two months. His first two months of him being alive, he outside in his stroller, just fucking out here, breathing yeah. in fresh air, going to the park, smelling what dogs smell like. Like, he just got a whole nother experience. So it's something to that. It's something to being born at a certain time, yeah. yo. And then you both get to experience that first transition. Like, he transitions into winter, you transition right, into summer. Right, right. You're like, oh my god, it gets better. He's like, what is happening to the world? <laughs> right, exactly. Right. It's just a whole. It's a yo. It's crazy how your experiences really like, like your, your experiences completely depict how you look at the world. Like to the smallest shit, yo. Like yeah. to the small. I used to didn't talk to anybody because my childhood. I ain't gonna say it was fucked up, but like I said, I had a woke ass fucking family. That used to put me in kufis and dashikis and then send me to a white Catholic school. You feel me? And it's like now I got to deal with these fucking white boys. Like what the fuck is that on your head? Right. You feel me? Everybody's going up for communion and I'm like, well, I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? I want some bread and some fucking grape juice. Let me get in this line so I can get communion. Then I get to the front and the priest boy like, nah, you got a you got a kufi on. It's not for you. You can't have this. That's the experience I went through. You see what I'm saying? So it was like that shaped how I looked at. Fucking Catholics. That shaped how I looked at Christians. That shaped how I looked at everything. But that's just life. Like we just living through our experiences, and then we, and then off of that, that's how we fucking decide how to live our life. The thing is, we got to get out of that though. We got to get into some shit where it's kind of like, yo, what's your vibe? Oh, all right, cool. What's your vibe? All right, cool. People too judgmental. Everybody too fucking. You wrong. You right. You fucked yeah. up. You not. You crazy. You sane. Fuck all that. Just everybody just living. That's all it is, yo. Yeah, I feel like the right amount of people are doing that for there to be a, a proper balance. Hell yeah, especially nowadays. Yeah. 
That's why I love social media. People like to fucking bash all that shit. And it's like, yo, nah, nah. This shit going in the right direction. I mean, I don't know what people are saying to bash it. I mean, I... I also don't know. I don't give a fuck what people say. That's true I think too. it does more good than bad. It does. Media. It does. For sure. Yeah. To me, it's just a reflection of what we already was. Like, yeah. people be like, oh, social media is fucked up. It's like, oh, people fucked up. People yeah. people was making scrapbooks long before, and now we just Hell constantly yeah. updating it and putting it out so other people can see it. You know what I mean? Right. And people always like to, whether it was like portray themselves in different ways through pictures, you could go. You know, I mean, people have been flexing yeah. in front of the Eiffel Tower and shit since it, the shit was yeah, built. Yeah, the shit was built. Yeah, you don't, you don't yeah. be in Paris. Like, Fuck it was there no. one time. But you show everybody that picture. So it's the same thing as now, like, just in a different different uh, forum of yeah, it. Yeah, right. It's a different platform. Yeah, I had some uh, f- um, comedians try to cancel me. Really? In the Philadelphia comedy scene. Why did you <laughs> call them out? <laughs> No, look, I, I've, I've called them out. No, look, look, you know what I heard? Of, you know what I heard about Sydney? People told me that Sydney was like a fucking black Republican boy, and I'm like, all right, well, let me talk talk to him, see what's up. And my thing is, I'm not always on the side that y'all want me to be on either. You feel me? So let me talk to Sydney and see what's up with him. That's what it is. Yeah, it's it's that I'm not always on the side that they expect me to be on because of what I look like. Right. Right. So I mean, I already told you, I'm not. I don't accuse people of racism. Yeah. It's not what I do. I, I like I, I live my life, I solve my problems, I conquer my demons. Right. I'm not worried about what's going on in somebody else's mind. Right, right, you right. Know, and I, I don't try to determine it either. Yeah, you I don't can. I don't put that I don't I'm not gonna put it's so unfair yeah. for me for me to do that to any human, to put in your mind a lifetime of perception and decision making right. and and you you mean to tell me so up until even if this person was racist, he's gonna be racist the whole entire time? Like nothing changes his mind. Like, right. All the things you have to assume is going on in this person's mind and life, and it's just like I, yeah, I don't right. get into that. I don't yeah. get into that. So I don't. And, and so th- this I'm, and again, I'm what I'm doing is, is uh, hey, we gotta wrap it up. Like, yeah. You know, you yeah. Gotta yeah. Finish yeah. What yeah. So uh, one of the reasons that they. Uh, oh, we definitely did go over. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. What is? It? Okay. So one of the You're reasons good. that they would, because I don't, I don't really, I don't believe that people right. are racist the, the way that people are. Like I don't believe that there's a systemic racism where they're trying to hold black people down. Yeah. Nah. People, no. people aren't that organized. No. It's yeah. just not happening. Nah. That's it. Yeah. That's that right there. Sydney's a black Republican. That is it, right? There. Where all that came from? That is it right there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all tripping? But that's all just yeah. misunderstanding shit. Like you right. gotta listen and really. Get to know people, and that's the base of everything. Right, yo, everything I'm cool with a lot of white it. people. They not organized, yo. They don't even like yeah. each other. You feel me? <laughs> like the fuck? Basically, so it was. So the, it was the the people that uh, just really quick to close that loop. I don't know how much time do you have? Uh, negative thirty three minutes. So we're good. <laughs> yeah, run it. Yeah, yeah. Run, run it. it. <laughs> yeah, there's two black people in the room, so you get like another <laughs> exactly. thirty three yeah, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, right. <laughs> you get two thirty three minutes. Right. That CP time. <laughs> yeah, but so uh, there was uh, a gay comedian that I used to be friends with. Uh, he decided that he wanted to get on board with all this social justice shit. We actually had a conversation about it. Right. We're in the back of an alley smoking, and I'm like, dog, don't do this. Just focus on your comedy. Yeah. Get good at comedy. Don't do this because when this shit runs its course, and it will. It will. You will be left in the like with all that shit you did to people. Yep. And that's not going to go well. It's Fuck never going to. Dude. And I guess Fuck I'm no. the Simpsons because it's exactly what happened. <laughs> right. Hell right? yeah, of course. So... uh. <laughs> We had this conversation two weeks later, because I wasn't going to this open mic really anymore. He, mm. he ran it with some other people, and because this chick was anti me, yeah. I was I'm a sexist too, by the way. Okay, so I'm a black Republican and I'm a sexist. and a sexist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. They go yeah. together. The, uh-huh. the, the sexist thing came because I wouldn't identify as a male feminist. Right. So that's I don't fucking believe, crazy. Yeah. So that's fucking crazy. It's insane how they just extrapolate all the rest of the Hell shit. Hell yeah, that's all fucking the rest crazy. of the shit. So. Uh, he, he basically, I stopped going to that mic. He was like, man, you got to come to this mic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know? So I go, I show up, and I think they planned this together. I show up. She has an issue with me. Uh, she made a big stink about it. And so me and him started to have beef. Yeah. And then he wrote this post about how I was, he was afraid of me and that he, he already knew that I put my hands on two other comedians before. <sighs> now, 
Oh, real quick. Here's the here's the story to that. Cause you, wait. I guess I just got a cramp. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Here's the story to that. So this one comedian got kicked out of a, a open mic for going behind a bar to confront a bartender. Right. Him and another comedian came back to that bar on lean, fucked up to try to negotiate getting him back into the open yeah. mic. And they already said if he comes back, they're going to call the cops. Right. So I'm trying to keep them from doing this. Right. Right. And the one dude goes, yo, the way you the way you keep shitting on my ideas makes, you, makes me think you don't respect me. And if you don't respect me, then I'm going to have to fight you in the street. And I'm like, dog, look, I don't want to fight you, man. Yeah, like, but relax, I'm not gonna man. let you do this. I'm not gonna let him go to jail because you got a bad idea, right? Right. So then he was like, well, let's step out in the street. And I was like, I stepped out in the street. I was like, listen, I'm stepping out in the street because I don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to because you have to know that you can't threaten me every time you exactly. see me, right? And then um, he pushed me, and then like backed up like thirty feet, like from the push, <laughs> right? And I said to him, like, dude, let that let you know what would happen if we fought, right? 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 He came back to me. I grabbed him by the collar and just put him on the ground. Yeah. Nothing. No martial okay, arts. Yeah. So dude, he like didn't a even. Yeah. Fucking slinky. Just that like wasn't even a down. fucking. Yeah. No. He and, wasn't ready for anything. And then the other guy, thinking I was gonna hit him, jumped on my back, and I went like this. And took him off my back <laughs> and put him down. <laughs> and that was it. That was me put my Yo, that was me fighting two other comedians. I know we got we gotta wrap yeah, this yeah, up. Yeah. But yesterday we was at Great Room and I told Lump, I'm like, yeah, I gotta race fucking Sydney. And he was like, dog, Sydney might be the most athletic comedian in Philly. I was like, I don't give a fuck about that, dog. Fuck all that. I don't give a fuck how high he can jump. I don't give a fuck how many people he beat up in this shit. <laughs> we racing. You see what I'm saying? That's different. <laughs> yeah, that's nah, a different sport. That how high he can jump matters. <laughs> that explosiveness matters, dog. I'm telling you, it's I like believe listen, I'm, I'm a little not, explosive too. Listen, I'm not normal people fast. I understand that, right? I'm like, I heard you was a track star. Dude, I tell this to people all the time. I had some shit in like, my day. It's like, I believe you. I believe you. What are you going to Raven tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. Okay, if you do, yeah. y'all got to race tomorrow. I'm with it tomorrow. Yeah, you said you're with it. We <laughs> we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll race them on my time. I feel you. I'm yeah, a yeah. fucking Mio. <laughs> You're the uh, champion out here yeah. right now. I'm a, I'm a, the last samurai. Him. It's gonna be on my time. It's gonna be uphill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking the distance. Uphill on rollerblades. Yeah, like. no, we're doing a 400 on rollerblades <laughs> backwards. <laughs> Skating. That's gonna be funny as shit. Yeah. I don't know where he just went, but we do got to wrap up. Um, do you got anything you want to plug real quick? Uh, well, you can check out my podcast, Two Jack Bros. It's uh, me and my wife. We just, you know, I mean, we, you hear me talk kind of like I talk here. Yeah. You know, but then it's, you know, we're, we're funny. We're funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of. Nah, you a funny dude, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, For man. Sure. I appreciate that. Nah, I appreciate you yeah, coming yeah, through. Absolutely, man. Um, thank you. Yeah, man. Y'all already know what it is. I guess Naeem can outro himself on his own sign. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. I yeah. say, where the hell you go? I, I had to leak up. Well, outro real quick. We got to get about it. You picked yeah. the worst timing. You could have waited two minutes for that. I do the editing, so fuck That's it. What I this say. shit going to be smooth as shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anybody would know I went to the bathroom. Except for the fact that I just said it right now. Yeah. But fuck all that. Tomorrow, Raven Lounge, me and Sydney racing. <laughs> you mean? Sydney, you coming to Raven? We'll see. We already did all this. Yeah, all bring right. your duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to just dress appropriately and just in yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just dress in case you show up. Miyoti Masashi, dog. We'll race on my time. <laughs> <laughs> City DM me like, yeah. who did you beat to make you the champ? I'm like, oh, like that. shit. <laughs> like that. I'm like, oh. I'm like, well, he's like, serious. Philly comedy race champ? Like, who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know who checked me first? Lemire checked me first. He was like, did you race Sydney? <laughs> I'm like, no. why the fuck do I got to race Sydney? He's like, no, Sydney's fast. Everybody been saying that yeah. to him. Everybody, Everybody been saying that to me. Like, yo, did you race Sydney? I'm like, yo, y'all got to relax. Yeah, we used, to, we used to all play ball together. They seen me do some athletic shit. That's what Lump said. Lump yeah. said that you was the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Man. I used to be out there with a bunch of fucking non-footwork having comedians. Right. And Hell yeah. Take them to victory after fucking victory. Hell we used yeah. to, me and them fucking out you of shit. You told me you want y'all one championship to yes. shit. Yes, yes we did. Comedians are the most yes, unathletic people ever. You only need one, dog. Yo, real <laughs> right. Hell, Hell yeah. My team. Yeah, but we would be out there playing uh, games against the people in the city. Right, right, and just right. just running the court Hell as comedians. Yeah. Oh, it was like that's fucking. Crazy. You was running dude. the court. They were definitely. I mean, I, I learned. I learned how to use them. Yeah. Yeah, dude, Lump's good. Is he? 
Yeah, he's a good low. Dude, you know, some of people will Lump's shock you. Lump's good in the out. post? Some people will shock you. I got to find right? out. Like Lump's Lump, good in the post? Lump's good in the post. He got the old right? head game then. Lemare's got a sick mid-range jumper. Lemare got an elbow jumper? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he got yeah, a fucking. Yeah, yeah, if Lemare can dribble the, the ball, elbow. I'm surprised. That's crazy. Uh, no, Lemire is more athletic than I thought he was. He yeah. looked like he dribbled with two hands. He, no, he he's, got, he's got more dribble than you think he has. Yeah? Do. Yeah, he'll cross you up if you if you think Man. he has no dribble. Lemire is definitely more athletic now. Yeah. When him and Chance was wrestling outside of Raven, though, yeah. I was like, okay. All right, yeah. Lemire got something to him. Yeah. yeah no, some, people that. That are, some people that are shocking. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. My thing is, if you a comedian, you take chances, so you probably was good at shit. Right, we should probably. Yeah, yeah let's wrap it up. Get get out out here, man. Man. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all coming through. Yeah, we out of here. Let's do Egg and the Deer Tag. We out. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, go. Hey. I like that. Woo! Lego, a Lego. Hey. 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 Get it ready, get it ready, get it ready, get it ready, get it ready. Hey, I said, never lack on the back, do rag in the deer tag. Ha 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 ha. I never lack on the back, do rag in the deer tag. Ha 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 ha. I never lack. On the back, do rag in the deer tag. I never act. On the back, do rag in the deer tag. Let's hear it out.